The NFL on CBS takes us to Oakland, California. Network Associates Coliseum, the Kansas City Chiefs, the Oakland Raiders, a classic battle and one of the best rivalries in the NFL. Both teams are five and five. Both teams fighting for their playoff lives right now. A victory and the team that comes out with that win will stay in the playoff hunt. A loss will be so damaging in the fight for a postseason berth in the AFC. Gunther Cunningham, head man for the Kansas City Chiefs. A lot of history for him with this matchup. A former assistant with the Oakland Raiders, and this is personal for Cunningham. John Gruden, second year as head coach of the Raiders. 500, that's what he's been able to do as the head man at 13 and 13. Ian Eagle, Mark May with you here on CBS. Houston kicks it off for Oakland to Mark Vanover, the return man for KC. Vanover gets across the 20 yard line and then is tackled out at the 24. A 20 yard return and Travian Smith made the tackle on special teams. Elvis Gerback, starting quarterback for Kansas City, and Mark, he is having the best season of his pro career. Not only that, I talked to offensive coordinator Jimmy Ray. What he told me, what they did with Elvis this year, they condensed the offensive playbook. With Elvis Gerback, they wanted to take the pressure off the quarterback and run the football first. That's why he's had success because he's been putting positive situations in second down. He is 3-0 and in his career against Oakland. And on a give for Bam Morris getting the carry on first down, trying to pull his way forward as he got across the 25 to the 26 and a two-yard pickup. Charles Woodson made the tackle. Kansas City offense and a change at left tackle. Glenn Parker out with a back injury. John Tate, the rookie from BYU, gets his first NFL start. Backs and receivers for the Chiefs. Bam Morris deactivated the last two weeks because of a weight problem. He gets the nod at tailback. Tony Richardson is fullback. Alexander and Risen are the receivers, and Gonzalez is the tight end. On a second and eight, Gerback will put it in the air for the first time. On a dump off, Donnell Bennett moving forward as he got ahead to the 28-yard line. Another pickup of two, setting up third down and six. The Oakland defense. They come in ranked number 12 in the NFL. Lance Johnstone and James Harris, defensive ends from Temple. That's amazing in itself. And Daryl Russell is the star of this defensive unit, leading the AFC with eight and a half sacks. Greg Beaker, once again the high man in tackles for the Raiders. And in the secondary, Allen and Woodson, so talented at corner. Charles Mincy, former chief, getting the start for the injured Eric Turner at free safety. This is a third and six from the 28. Gerback shouting instructions. It is Bennett in the backfield, and Bennett is driven back behind the line of scrimmage. Grady Jackson came firing in, and it's a loss of two. Confusion on the offense for the Kansas City Chiefs. What, the, what they're able to do, the Oakland Raiders, is put men up in the box. Three down linemen, Grady Jackson over the center, Tim Grunhard. No one blocked him. He goes right around him on a stunt. It's an ET stunt, which means the end over the tackle slants down. Grady Jackson loops around. No one picks him up. Play, tackle for a loss in the backfield. Daniel Pope, the punter for Kansas City. It's a high punt. Darian Gordon waiting from the 25. Gordon will move forward. Trying to spin his way out of trouble, but he is brought down at the 27-yard line, a 49-yard punt. I want to welcome those of you who have been watching the Minnesota-San Diego game. Here it's Oakland and Kansas City, and one of the main storylines in this matchup, Rich Gannett, the former Kansas City Chiefs, spent four years there. Gannon is going against his former team for the first time. I want to welcome those of you who've been watching Buffalo and New England. First drive of the day for Oakland. Kansas City went three and out. On again, Napoleon Kaufman able to get ahead to the 30-yard line, but he picked up just one on first down. Gannon, any Kansas City player or coach you spoke with, Mark, this week, he's one word to describe him competitor absolutely and they respect rich gannon because they know he's a fighter from the opening whistle to the closing one he will hang in there in the pocket and make something happen for this offense also having his best year as a pro similar to elvis gerback there was a quarterback controversy over the last couple of years in kansas city cannon was a very popular figure there he was a winner on second and nine it's a pitch Kaufman looking for an opening exploding through the hole as he advances ahead just shy of the 40-yard line Chris Dishman, the veteran, 
making the tackle on the far side. A gain of eight. Offensive line for the Oakland Raiders and a change at right guard. Gennaro DiNapoli out with that rib injury. He is active, but Barry Sims has been a super sub for John Gruden's team. He gets the start at right guard today. Backs and receivers. Kaufman will split time with Tyrone Wheatley. It's Richie, the fullback. Brown and Jet, the wide receivers, and Ricky Dudley is the tight end. Three touchdowns over the last two weeks. This is a third and one and a two tight end set. Dudley and the former chief, Derek Walker. Full house backfield and a handoff. Zach Crockett, the short yardage man. He had to get across the 39, and it will be very close. It didn't appear as if he got there. Crockett, former Colt, former Jaguar. And he did not get enough for the first down, so the Raiders will punt. And Leo Aragus is coming off a nightmare of a game last week in the loss to Denver in overtime. We will see him for the first time today. I talked with Leo Aragus before the game. He says it's the K-balls. They don't get an opportunity, the kickers and punters, to touch these balls until their first snap. This is going to be the first time he touches the ball. Last week he had a problem. He said the balls were hard, plus there wasn't enough air in the balls. The officials need to do a better job of checking the balls before the game. Van over. Eight-yard return for Van over after the 47-yard punt. And Elvis Gerback will come onto the field for the second time today. No score early going here at Oakland Coliseum. 10:36 mark, first quarter. These two teams at five and five. Kansas City though one and four on the road. The Raiders are three and two at home. One of the best rivalries that you will find in all of sports. And this one certainly means something today with both teams fighting for playoff positioning. Morris and Richardson are in the backfield. Gerback from the 23. On first down, he'll dump it off for Richardson. Richardson trying to get to the outside, and he is still down at the 30-yard line. A pickup of about eight on first down. Charles Woodson made the tackle on the near side. And Elvis Gerbeck's doing a wonderful job of not trying to force the ball. He's made great decisions this year with the football. Gunther Cunningham told us. And here's another great decision. Instead of looking deep, they wanted to throw the ball deep on that play. They recovered deep. He bided his time, got great offensive protection, and dumped the ball out in the flat. Smart football. Kansas City suffering through a three-game losing streak. This team was 5-2. and two. On a give, Van Morris on a second and two. And Morris is able to carry the pile ahead for a pickup of four. And a first down for Kansas City, their first first down of the afternoon. Greg Beekert, the middle linebacker, was there to help make the stop. Right, Bam Morris is a big back. We know that. 255 pounds. But his problem was he got well over 265 pounds. Gunther Cunningham told us, hey, you're overweight. You're not going to play this team. You're hurting the team. He's been inactive the last couple of weeks. Finally got his weight down, taught him a lesson, said, hey, you're hurting the team. You're hurting yourself, and you're hurting me. This is how you can contribute, keep your weight down. That's what he's done. That's why he's fine. Injuries to Rashawn Sheehy as well, leading to the start. And a first down throw on the sideline to Kevin Lockett of 11 yards. But a flag on the play. Eric Allen making the stop. This one looks to be coming back. Our referee today, Jerry Austin, the veteran ref. Personal foul, illegal chop block, number 61 of the offense. 15 yards, repeat first down. Ten-year veteran Tim Grunhardt, illegal chop block. And it's already started in the first, first quarter, a personal foul. Here he is, he sets them up, they're coming around on a stunt. Right there, the cut. And it wasn't Grunhard. It was actually Dave Zott, the left guard, that should have been penalized on that. He's the one that did the cut. Grunhard's up. Right there, Zott's down at the knees. You can't do that in the NFL. The player's defenseless. That's the only way to protect him. You hit him high when your hands are on. On a first and 25 after they take away the 15 yards. Line of scrimmage is now the 20. Bennett is in the backfield. Gerback wants to throw it. Stepping forward in the pocket and finding Bennett. Sidesteps the tackler. Bennett to the 30. And is brought down at the 32, a pickup of 12 on first down. So they get back a chunk of that yardage 
that they lost on the penalty. And the one thing about Bam Morris that's impressive, he will not go down with the first tackle. He will avoid the first tackle. He will run him over. Bennett is the same way at the other position. It's like you have two fullbacks in the backfield between Bam Morris and Donnell Bennett. You can't bring them down. It's almost a hybrid backfield. Mm. They don't have small puppies back there. They got big dogs. <laughs> and Bennett told us, hey, I'm not a natural fullback. I'm not a natural tailback. I'm somewhere in between. This is a second and 13. Gerback in trouble and sack. Sam Sword, first NFL sack for the rookie out of Michigan. And Gerback never saw him. And no one touched Sam Sword. Right now, let's get an NFL Today report. We go to New York and Jim Nance. Well, we can put this one away. The Jacksonville Jags have won a franchise record eighth straight game. The touchdown run by Stewart won it. The defense uh, then forced Tony Banks into a fumble. They ran out the clock to Jacksonville. Let's go back to you. A gym a little bit better than a couple of weeks ago. That 6-3 game, Jacksonville and Baltimore. At least some points were scored this time. Third and 21. Gerback in the pocket. Throws underneath the coverage. Complete to Derek Alexander. And then he is quickly trounced down. Shy of the 30-yard line. They picked up a modest five as Lance Johnstone released from the defensive line to help out on making the tackle. Just wanted to get some more yardage. But nowhere close to a first down. Line of scrimmage now the 29, and that's what Daniel Pope has to work with after his first punt of 49 yards. And Darian Gordon, once again, the deep man, hoping to improve upon his last return of four. He's averaging over 11 yards per return. Here's the punt from Pope. It will take a bounce, an Oakland bounce. Out of bounds, right around the 45-yard line. Great field position for the Raiders after the 26-yard punt. We're back to Oakland after this. All right, Captain, we're going to have a coin toss now. If there's a team, we'll call it in the air. Um, we want a good, clean game. Um, we're all professionals here. Does anyone have change for a dollar? What? Want to get away? Southwest has your ticket to freedom. For only $99 or less, you can fly coast to coast when you purchase by December 15th and travel starting November 30th. You are now free to move about the country. With the AT&T One Rate 7 Cent Plan, calls are just 7 cents a minute all day, every day. What about Canada? What? Canada. Yeah, same thing. With the international plan, it's 7 cents a minute always. What about all the other countries in the world? Japan, Mexico, Liechtenstein. Liechtenstein. All right. Every country has its own low rate. What about France? France. France. Same lower rate as France. Great. I'm going to go call France. Which is right near France. Seven cents to Canada and great rates around the world. Call 1-800-41-RATE to enroll. You invest, right? Okay. Keep your eye on this website. It's time we had something like this. Investment possibilities waiting to be discovered. Every click, another company. Complete with all financials. Analysts reports. Earnings history. It works. All on one website. The Discovery Companies at AmericanStocks.com. The American Stock Exchange. Discover the possibilities. Garth Brooks, Paul Simon, and Whitney Houston perform live, honoring the athletes of the century. The legends will be there for the 20th Century Sports Awards, CBS Thursday. Back at Oakland, no score in the first quarter. Ian Eagle along with Mark May, and this is the kind of game where it has all the elements you look for a rivalry game, and you obviously played in so many of them. A little extra edge when you take the field against a rival? Oh, a lot. You bring it up one notch in a rivalry game, and, and you want to play your best when it's a rival. You play your best every Sunday, but when it's a team that you hate, you always bring out a little extra. Rich Gannon, the former Chief, will tuck it and run and slides down into Kansas City territory at the 48-yard lot. He picked up Right around five on that first down run. The Kansas City defense, Leslie O'Neill, the veteran, getting the start for Dan Williams today on that line, along with Tom Bart, Chester McLaughlin, a former Raider, and Eric Hicks. The linebackers, Edwards, Patton, and Thomas. Thomas had a field day against the Raiders last year. And in the secondary, Hasty, Woods, Tongue, and Dishman. We'll call it second and about four from the 49. Gannon throwing and complete on the slant. Rich Gannon able to find Tim Brown. 
15 yards through the air, and the Raiders are moving the football. Chris Dishman was dealing with Brown one on one. And there's a cushion by Dishman. Tim Brown reads it. Here's a slant right across the middle of the field. Delivery with the football. Nice route running by Tim Brown of reading that you're off the ball. I'm going to take my shot, run four or five yards, make my plant and go. Rich Gannon picking it up automatically and delivering the football. Down to the 34 yard line, and Brown has picked it up. Didn't have a great year last season statistically. He is this year. Dudley and Walker, two tight end set on a first and ten from the 34. Gannon, off a of play action, thrown wide open is Dudley. Ricky Dudley is spun out of bounds at the 15 yard line by Reggie Tong. That's a 19 yard pass play and another Oakland first down. Dudley has really picked it up in recent weeks. And he's got five touchdown reception tied for the lead on the team. But here he is. He just runs to skinny pulse and he turns to the out. He's supposed to be covered by Donnie Edwards. Donnie Edwards can't keep up with him. It's just so big and strong running down and has enough speed to stretch the defense in the middle of the field. Ricky Dudley about three weeks ago Tim Brown brought Ricky Dudley to the sideline and said hey it's your time to start to shine. You've got the potential. You've got to make it happen. It's worked. First and 10 from the 15. On a handoff, Wheatley gets his first call and nothing doing for him as he got ahead to the line of scrimmage. Maybe a gain of one. And what a story this has been for Tyrone Wheatley. Didn't work with the Giants. Tried out with the Miami Dolphins. Got cut there, but Jimmy Johnson had some good things to say about him, and it carried over here to Oakland. Not only good things to say, he said nothing bad about him, right. which is key when he got rid of him. They drafted a bunch of running backs in Miami, but the best thing that Tyrone Wheatley can say about Jimmy Johnson is thank you, because when he got here, John Gruden told us he was in tremendous physical condition, and he was ready to pick up the offense right away at training camp. Brown is the motion man. On second and ten, Gannon, pump fake, throwing, end zone, nearly intercepted by Hasty. It was intended for Tim Brown in the end zone and Hasty had a crack at it as he came across the other side in coverage. There's one thing that Rich Gannon's doing that's impressing me right now. As soon as he sees his man open, an outside in move by Brown, the double move, but James Hasty sprints across and knocks the ball away. But Rich Gannon, he plants and fires the ball as soon as he sees his wide receiver get open to flash because he knows this defense is a ball hawking defense. They've come up with turnover after turnover this year. They're plus 17 turnover ratio. He's played against this defense in practice over the last four years. He knows he's got to get that ball out of there. In the Zach Crockett, John Ritchie in the backfield to help out blocking, throwing to the end zone, intended for Brown, but over his head. It was hasty again with a one on one coverage. These two know each other quite well. Brown and hasty. They've dueled over a number of years now. Incomplete fourth down Oakland. And it's body control with James Hasty right on the inside. He plants, he turns. As soon as Tim Brown makes his move, he doesn't go for the fake. He stays with Tim Brown. Then he turns and uses his body as a shield. Excellent coverage by James Hasty. A 33 yard field goal attempt for Michael Houston came over from Tampa Bay. 15 of 22 this season. And converting field goals. The holder is Aragutz. Raiders trying to take the lead. The kick from Houston is good. Oakland in front, three to nothing here in the first quarter. Happy holidays, everybody. We're coming back to Oakland after this. When it's really cold outside and you get that craving for something really hot, remember Wendy's Spicy Chicken Sandwich. It's seasoned with Dave's own blend of pepper and spices. And they make nifty hand warmers. RCA Victor. Do not try to adjust the picture. Color TV. There is nothing wrong with your TV. A new form of television is here. High, High definition. Up to six times sharper than current analog technology. The people who brought you TV. The Color TV and digital satellite TV welcome you to HD TV. We repeat, there is nothing wrong with your television. We've just made a better one. If you're looking for horsepower, look at Chevy Silverado. Because Silverado has the most powerful V8 of any 4x4 pickup. More powerful than Dodge. More powerful than Ford, 300 horsepower. That's why it's the truck. Silverado from Chevy. One of the world's best skiers against Goodyear's ultimate winter tire, the Ultra Grip Ice Radial. Made with ice lock and innovative silica compound, you get improved traction on snow and ice. Goodyear Ultra Grip Ice Radials. 
the NFL on CBS is sponsored by Southwest Airlines. Proud sponsor of the NFL and official airline of the Super Bowl. Wendy's Spicy Chicken. And by Budweiser. Made with the freshest all-natural ingredients for brewery fresh taste. Bird's eye view of Network Associates Coliseum with Oakland in front. Three to nothing. 409 mark of the first quarter. Seven play 41 yard drive resulting in that 33 yard field goal for Houston and a low kick. It will take about Bennett Fields from the 16 Donnell Bennett. He got ahead to the 29 yard line. Maybe they'll give him the 30 and that's where Kansas City will have it after the 13 yard return. Chiefs trail three nothing. As America's first choice in beer during the past century, we invite you to toast the new millennium with the same clean, crisp taste you've always enjoyed. Budweiser. Now in limited edition millennium magnums, bottles, and cans. Now, as always, this Bud's for you. Your receipt. Check outlines. Who needs them? This is the future of e-business. Have a nice day. I will not forget that I have long-term responsibilities. I won't let panic triumph over reason. I'll stay the course when everyone else says the sky is falling. The stock market moves up and down, sometimes dramatically. In my 30-year career, the stock market's gone up over tenfold. But in that same time period, it's had 14 drops of 10% or more. Stay the course. That's what I've always done. For more information on Fidelity Funds with a history of solid performance, visit Fidelity.com. How do you tell your own wife? Sucky baller right here. She's fired from the team. Oh, I don't want you off the team. Why well, you want to be off the team? An all-new King of Queens, CBS Monday. You are watching CBS Sports, showcasing college football's top team. Touchdown! Up to the minute playoff picture in the AFC. Only six teams get in, and you see where the cutoff is. A damaging loss earlier today for New England against Buffalo, dropping the Patriots to 6 and 5. And Kansas City and Oakland just trying to stay alive here. With the Raiders in front, 3 0. Kansas City ball, first and 10 from the 29. Bam Morris trying to cut it to the outside. He's brought down. Shy of the line of scrimmage by Lance Johnstone. Great pursuit. And a tremendous job by Lance Johnstone of getting penetration in the backfield. He's over the rookie. Right here. Watch Johnstone get the penetration right there. He's over John Tate. He's over the tight end. Gonzalez right there. Just goes right through him. Straight up the backfield. You can't stop him like that. When you get both hands on him as a tight end and Tony Gonzalez, you have to move your feet, move your arms with him. He tried to position block. Lance Johnstone just took his power, went straight up the football field over the tight end, Tony Gonzalez. He is a speed rusher in his fourth year out of Temple. That was a loss of two. Play fake. Stepping up. Gerback throwing underneath to Tony Richardson. Trying to straddle the sideline. He got right near the marker, but came up just short. Good catch and run by Tony Richardson to pick up 11. It'll be third and short coming up for Kansas City. What Willie Shaw is doing, the defensive coordinator for the Oakland Raiders, he's letting him have everything underneath. Nothing deep. Even on play action, those safeties are staying deep. He's making Elvis Gerback dump the ball off, condensing the football field. Gerback. Five of five throwing the football 38 yards Shaw has been proud of his defense, but he thinks they can do more On a third and one Donnell Bennett trying to push the pile forward to get the first down had to get across the 39 yard line and I'm not quite sure he got there It all depends upon the spot Time trickling away here in the first with two and a half left He is short. And what it comes down to in short yardage situations, research and attitude. One, you've got to stay low. You've got to move your man off the football. The Kansas City Chiefs did not do that. They went laterally, and the Oakland defense got penetration. Look at the black jerseys. Push the line forward. Running back takes the ball down to Bennett. There's no seam to run the football. The Raiders condense on every hole, close every seam and every gap, and then they come to the football together as a unit. 
They certainly have the beef to get it done between oh. Bennett and Bam Morris, who we talked about earlier. Both are built like fullbacks, and they did not get there. So fourth down for Kansas City. And Gunther Cunningham is not taking any chances as he sends Daniel Pope onto the field. And he should be upset because this sends a message right there in that little war Willie Shaw won. He beat Gunther Cunningham because they stuffed him on third and short. With big backs, you expect to get a yard on every running down. Gunther Cunningham's offense got stuffed on the play. Willie Shaw won that battle of the win. Third punt for Pope. Ralph Tam snaps it. Darian Gord backpedaling. He will field right around the nine. Gordon trying to spin, and he does. Unfortunately for him, he spun down to the turf. Two-yard return, 53-yard punt. Raiders are pinned back. Willie Shaw's defense has done the job so far. Meet Martin Licious, storm chaser. Some head for the basement. He heads for a Chevy S10. It's got advantages over Ford Ranger, like better fuel economy, a bigger bed, and standard four-wheel anti-lock brakes on every model. Because if you want to outrun Mother Nature, you need every advantage you can get. Chevy S10, like a rock. It was the holidays in Cellular Town. And all was not well. What happened here? It's the Cellular, sir. The long distance bill. He signed a contract. Here, the Sprint PCS free and clear plan gives you crystal clear calls for as little as a dime any time. Hey, Sprint PCS! From anywhere in their nationwide network. Hey, everybody! 500 minutes for $50 a month from Sprint PCS. I am the bullet drill bit. With my pilot point tip, I drill holes without slipping. Because accurate holes are my life. I'm the bullet. I'm built by Black and Decker. Before you do this or this or this, you want to have this and this and this. You'd be surprised how much of our technology goes into your day. So for this, 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 this or this or this. We're seamen. We can do that. An air disaster. Was it pilot error or a commander's negligence? Get the hell off my boat. If you think you can intimidate me, you have misjudged me. All new Jack CBS Tuesday. The NFL on CBS is sponsored by Sprint PCS and by Chevrolet Trucks, the most dependable, longest-lasting trucks on the road. These live aerial shots brought to us this afternoon by the Monster.com Blimp. Monster.com launched its blimp in July of this year in San Francisco, the Bay Area, the 11th major city the blimp has visited. Check them out on the internet at Monster.com. Monster of a rivalry here with Oakland leading it three to nothing first and ten for the Raiders at their own 12 yard line the former chief Rich Gannon under center for Oakland Kaufman is in the backfield Gannon steps up and throws underneath the coverage and complete to James Jett as he is ridden down right around the 15 yard line a pickup of five Rich Gannon speaking with Gunther Cunningham yesterday Gunther told us hey by far this was the best scout quarterback I ever had and he used to frustrate the defense and Gunther Cunningham because he would come up to the line of scrimmage and bark off cadences and make him jump off sides he'd read the blitz on the second step get rid of the ball and he was just so good at it it prepared him for the future in the NFL and down the road but it made the defense look bad on a second down and five Gannon a quick toss to Tim Brown Brown looking for the first down marker as he moves ahead across the 20 yard line brought down by Reggie Tung he picked up four and just a little bit short of that first down yeah, Tim Brown has become a father figure in this wide receiving core. Not all that old at 33 years of age, but he is in his 12th year at a Notre Dame. And you look at the numbers, Mark, I think we're looking at a future Hall of Famer. I think without a doubt what he's been able to do year in and year out. And last year wasn't a great year for him, but he still got his yards. And with Tim Brown, you know he's going to be a future Hall of Famer. Talking about Tim Brown, he said, well, the Heisman's coming up. My vote for the Heisman, Ron Dane. Is that what he said? That's what he said. Oh, well, there was nobody from Notre Dame. That's, That's why. <laughs> On a third and two from the 20. Play action. Gannon throwing. Caught initially by Brown. What will they rule it? Incomplete. It would have been a first down grab for Tim Brown. Instead, Oakland has to punt. 
and a great job of carrying out the fake. Good blocking out of the backfield by the back, setting up this play action. That's exactly what they want. The ball's a little low. Tim Brown can't bring it in. Nice hit at the end of the play by Chris Dishman, but that's the play they wanted. They had the linebacker stepping up. They bid on the play action fake. It's been an adjustment for the receivers. They were used to that hard throw from Jeff George who threw those laser beams last year when he was in there. And obviously, Rich Gannon doesn't have that kind of gun, but he does have a better feel for this offense. Leo Aragus to punt it away to Marek Vanover. A lot of pressure put on him from Gunther Cunningham. He said it has to happen now. They need it. Here's Vanover trying to get to the outside. He's got some room into Oakland territory. Vanover gets across the 35-yard line. May have been out of bounds, though, well before it, and I think that's what the officials are calling. Let's talk hard-working engines. Pretty rough, huh? Well, you wanted full off-road capabilities. You know, just in case all the drive throughs get moved to the mountains. But guess what? You got a hard-working engine. Better get a hard-working oil. This is Quaker State 4x4, a synthetic blend for hard-working engines. It's been tested for pure maximum protection. Nothing's better. Quaker State, sensible technology. What more do you need to know? We asked the tough fans of the St. Paul Saints to test the new Norelco Quadra Action Razor for 21 days. Electric sting! But when they tried it, they started to like this advanced new Norelco, with slots to cut the long hairs and holes that get the short stubble. They got a quick close shave without the nicks and cuts of a blade. By the end, these fans had fans of their own. The new Quadra Action Razor. Try it for 21 days. It's guaranteed or your money back. Norelco, put it to the test. Contrary to some opinion, e-commerce isn't just about selling things. It's about connecting people in business. To their customers, yes, but also to their partners and colleagues and to anybody else that makes business go. At Microsoft, we've helped thousands of companies build e-commerce solutions easy enough for any business to use. Because if everybody's connected, business works better. mother accused of killing her child. One lawyer is her only hope. You want me to size up every client, see who's naughty and who's nice? That's not being a lawyer. That's being God. Family Law, CBS Monday. Tamar Vanover has not been producing the numbers that the Chiefs have been accustomed to. Had a big return, but he was clearly out of bounds. So the line of scrimmage will be the 48-yard line of Kansas City. Turned out to be a 20-yard return for Vanover. On a handoff, Donnell Bennett. Bennett getting to midfield after he picked up right around two yards on first down. 18 seconds left in the first quarter. Greg Beekert combined with Chuck Osborne to make that tackle. Guthrie Cunningham's offense is predicated entirely on running the football, getting positive yards on first down. If they get stuffed on first down, it puts a lot more pressure on quarterback Elvis Skirbeck. Cunningham spent four years with the Raiders as an assistant in the early 90s. This one is personal to him. End of the first quarter. Oakland with a lead, three to nothing. If you're driving around with some cut-rate car insurance and you get into an accident, that's when it hits you. There's no State Farm agent to turn to for help. So, the choice is yours. Get yourself a State Farm agent. Please continue holding. Or get left out in the cold. Here's your regular internet homepage. And here's i1.com. You use it like Yahoo, Lycos, or other search engines. Only i1.com gives away $10,000 every day, $1 million a month, and $10 million on tax day. Which one would you choose? Oh, I see. Someone's supposed to struggle with this, right? So let's bring out the blonde. Just doing research. Um, I'll pick the one with all of the cash. i1.com. Yeah. Introducing i1.com. Why wouldn't you? What do you do while your battery is charging? Well, now you could just keep working. Because Skill just created the dual source power system, the first cordless tools with a corded backup. So you can finish what you start, which is a much more satisfying use of time. 
dual source. Only from skill. Two people who thought they'd never love again. Could I offer you a lift? Until fate brought them together and gave them another chance at love. I haven't been picked up since I was a little girl. James Garner and Julie Andrews. Do you believe in second chances? I only believe in what I see. In a world premiere movie, one special night, CBS Tonight. Second quarter action from Oakland. I and Eagle, Mark May, our entire CBS crew on hand in the Bay Area with the Raiders leading it three to nothing as we start play in the second quarter. It is a second and eight for Kansas City from midfield. Gerback will throw it. Quick throw and a catch made by Kevin Lockett trying to break to the open field as he gets to the 30 yard line and a big gainer to start play in the second quarter. Brought down by Anthony Newman, the strong safety. Coming up next Saturday, the Home Depot College Football presents one of the grandest traditions in all of sports, the 100th Army-Navy game. How many games can you actually say have been played 100 times? Throw out the records, forget the standings. This is one of the great rivalries. Army-Navy next Saturday on CBS. First and 10 now from the 30-yard line on a handoff. Donnell Bennett emerging through a hole as he got across the 20-yard line and picked up 11. A first down run for Bennett in Kansas City moving the football. Let's go to New York right now. NFL Today report Jim Nance. All right, Ian. The Jets had a couple of early field goals to lead 6 0 at Indianapolis. But Peyton Manning rolls out and finds his target, Marcus Pollard, for the touchdown of the Colts lead as they begin the second quarter back to you. 3 0 the score here in Oakland, Jim. A first and 10 from the 24 KC. Bennett trying to turn the corner. He does. Bennett. Putting the helmet down as he crosses the 10 yard line and another first down for the Chiefs. Anthony Newman made the tackle 13 yard run for Donnell Bennett who is running with confidence. And a tremendous job of getting to the outside by Donnell Bennett. They have to run the ball to have success in this offense and run it early. And you see the first seven games they were five and two. They were able to pound the football but it's the last three games they haven't been able to establish the run. That's why they lost games. Five carries, 23 yards for Bennett. This is a first and goal from the six. Handoff. Bennett is tripped up as he picked up a yard. Greg Beekert will be given credit for the tackle from behind. Second and goal now from the five. Kansas City has dominated this series in the 90s. They've won 17 of the last 19 meetings. And all the Chiefs told us that Marty Schottenheimer took this game so seriously he would make it Raider week. And Gunther Cunningham has now taken on that role, getting his team charged up for this battle. On a second and goal, double tight end set, Gonzalez, Jacoby throwing to the end zone. And Jacoby couldn't grab it. Elvis Gerback was looking for the score and a flag came down late. Stops the clock with 12.31 to play in the first half. First incomplete pass for Gerback. Once again, Jerry Austin. Nice interference. Number 24 of the defense. First down at the two-yard line. Charles Woodson. That's a shock. Most teams don't even throw at Charles Woodson anymore because he's had such an outstanding season last year and this year. But Mitch J Jacoby, the tight end, comes across the middle. He's only caught three passes his entire career, so nobody even thought he'd get the ball. But right there, you'll see it. Charles Woodson just comes across the formation. It looks like he trips over a wide receiver going into his route. Backup tackle Marcus Spears has checked in as an eligible receiver. This is a first and goal from the two. Bennett surging ahead for the touchdown. Kansas City. So the Chiefs grab their first lead of the afternoon. Tremendous job by the interior blockers on the inside line. Their big three, Dave Zott, Tim Grunhardt, and Will Shields, doing a great job of getting a push on the defensive front. A look from the end zone. You see the skin right there by Will Shields coming around, knocking Greg Beaker back. That's all it takes on a goal, a goal line situation, just getting a chip on somebody, giving the back an opportunity to hit a seam. Extra point for Pete Stoyanovich. Pope is the holder, and Stoyanovic bangs it through. Kansas City, seven. Oakland, three, early in the second quarter. And one of the best rivalries in all of sports.
It happened on my second cast. I knew what I had the second it hit. It snapped the line just above the leader. But I'm not gonna lose my lucky lure. Not without a fight. Ford F-Series, Bill Ford Tough. made inner gel ball explosive distance soft feel i found them online and at 25 retail stores starrunner.com has shopping experts in every conceivable field like mark anderson and sporting goods Ooh, dunlop double titanium ball and a callaway hawkeye titanium driver am i right starrunner.com log on let's shop and with your last breath shall bear witness to the end of days. The critics agree. End of days is a non-stop action-packed thrill ride. End of days. Rated R. Now playing. It might make sense to you, but it didn't to 60 Minutes, that the Army ruled this captain's death a suicide and not a murder. That story tonight. On that drive, Donnell Bennett, five carries, 29 yards, a six-play, 52-yard drive that took up three minutes. And Bennett went in for the touchdown, his seventh of the season. Pete Stoyanovich handling the kickoff duties. They released Scott Bentley earlier, who was the kickoff specialist for this team the last couple of weeks. Kaufman and Calvin Branch are the deep men. A 7-3 Kansas City lead, Stoyanovich to kick it off. This one will come up short. Flag comes down. It is fielded by Kaufman on the far side. Trying to get across the 30. He couldn't get there. And he's forced out of bounds right around the 28-yard line by Reggie Tung. But as mentioned, a flag on the play. Came down on the other side of the field right around the 32. And it looked like offsides. There are two or three players offsides on that. Offside on the kickoff, number 80. Five yards and re-kick. Mike Stock, special teams coach. They are special personalities, aren't they, around the league? They definitely are. We had one in Washington, Wayne Sevier, and he got everybody so fired up. We used to go back there in pregame to listen to his speech to the special teams guys before a game to get us fired up. You look to the right of the football, and actually, as you said, Mark. There are a couple. There's a couple here. All Watch over. Down here. They're all over the place. So they'll back it up. But going back to that speech, we all used to huddle in the back of the locker room by the showers. He'd get them firing up with fire and brimstone. We'd get pumped up for the game, listen to Wayne Severe. Then he'd come out and straighten up his shirt, and it was like he was a preacher walking out of there. Yeah. It was the strangest thing you ever saw, but the guys would just come out of the gates fired up, and he'd get us all ready to play football. They are a special breed, those special team coaches. Great to keep a camera on, because you know they're at some point they're oh, going to lose it. There's going to be an explosion sooner or later. Now from the 25, Stoyanovich has been struggling getting... The kickoff's deep to begin with. This one goes to the 15, and Kaufman trying to veer to the outside. Kaufman looking for some blockers. He's got some. And Kaufman comes up just shy of the 40-yard line. A 23-yard return for him. Brought down by Tony Richardson on special teams. Well, let's reminisce. 1968 AFL Divisional Playoff. Raider quarterback Daryl LaMonica throws five touchdown passes. Three of them to future Hall of Famer Fred Bolitnikoff as the Raiders blow away the Chiefs 41 to 6 the final score once a Raider always a Raider at least for some of those great names and Belitnikov still with his team the wide receivers coach Oakland record 76 touchdown catches handoff up the middle Tyrone Wheatley struggling to move ahead as he picked up about two spinning his way to the 40. And the Oakland Raiders struggled last week in their game against the Denver Broncos. On first down, they only averaged two yards a carry, and you've got to do better than that on first down. John Gruden knows this. With Tyrone Weekly, he's this big power back. He's his every down back that can slam the ball between the tackles. He's got he's got Napoleon Coffin that can get to the outside. John Ritchie, a fullback in there when they go two back. Zach Crock is a short yardage guy, but on first down, they've got to get four or five yards. 
Here's Gannett stepping up in the pocket, thinking about the deep ball, and now thinking about the turf because that's where he is. He was devoured back at the 37-yard line. Tom Bart, first man to get there, and Gannon did not have a chance. Rich Gannon, all the Kansas City defenders that we spoke with, is a guy that can make you pay off that scramble. He didn't have a chance here. And what they did is they stayed in their lanes and they were pursuing after Rich Gannon. They wanted to make sure that wherever he is, don't let him get to the outside. Don't let him break that line of scrimmage. But Tom Barks doing an excellent job in there. He's an ex-offensive lineman, and now he's playing the defensive side of the ball. He's doing a great job. For the now on third and 11, Gannon stepping forward, trying to avoid the rush. On a duck ball for John Ritchie, remaining on his feet and struggling ahead for the first down. He got across the 48. They needed 11. He gave them 12, and Donnie Edwards made the stop. That's one thing about John Ritchie out of the backfield. He only has three runs, but 23 receptions here. Throws a fake block to make the linebacker rush. That's Leslie O'Neill rush, and then he goes out into the flat, boom, catches the ball, runs over one defender through another one. But when you get a big guy like that, 250 yards in the open field, it's difficult for a defensive back to bring him down. Tremendous hands by John Ritchie. That's their safety valve out of the backfield. He's made a smooth transition now in his second year to the NFL from Stanford. Gannon in some trouble again. Sidearm throw. Catch is made. Big gainer for Brown. Out to the 20-yard line. They picked up 31 on that play. Tackle made by Jerome Woods, but Oakland is in business. A first and 10 from the Kansas City 20. And Rich Gannon waiting out the route. That's the most important thing. Stepping up in the pocket, believing your offensive lineman can protect you. Slings the ball, sidearms, right in the middle of the field. Here he is. He takes a look at the defense. It's a play action fake. Steps up, avoids the rush. Right there, he knows Tim Brown's coming across the field. A slide arm sling. Tim Brown is able to get behind linebacker Donnie Edwards. That's what makes the play go. His third reception, 50 yards on the day already. Last time that Brown did not have a catch in a game, have to go back to October of 93 against Kansas City. Play fake. Gannon looking for it all to the end zone, and it's incomplete. Ricky Dudley thought he was held, and a flag comes down very late. Awfully, you're absolutely right. The play was over. They stopped and started walking back to the huddle. Then the flag comes out. Great acting job by Dudley, though. Against Kansas City, they will not call it the pass interference. Holding, number 53 of the defense, five yards, automatic first down. Marcus Patton, 10-year veteran out of UCLA, called on the hole. And that's unusual. Marcus is one of the leaders on this defense, was a free agent from the Washington Redskins. He leads this team, never misses a down, smart football player, hard as a rock, does whatever it takes to win games. But I'll tell you what, he'll get fired up and motivated over that call. He'll come out and stick somebody in the next player or two. Fired up and motivated may describe Gunther Cunningham right now. On a first and 10 from the 15, a double tight end set. Full house in the backfield with Derek Walker. Handoff, Wheatley, straight ahead. Line of scrimmage was the 15, he picked up three. Moving the football to the 12. Clock continues to roll. 9-19 left in the first half. Coming up tonight on CBS, Emmy Award winners James Garner and Julie Andrews star as two people stranded in a blizzard who find a second chance at love. Don't miss these two great stars in a world premiere movie. One special night. That's tonight right here on CBS. On a second and seven now from the 12-yard line. Oakland hoping to regain the lead. Gannon backpedaling in the pocket. Throwing into some traffic, and it's incomplete. Jet the intended receiver, and Chris Dishman had that blanket coverage. Pretty job by Dishman with this pressure on the play from Leslie O'Neill moving around, getting pressure on quarterback. But a beautiful job by Dishman right here, one-on-one -on -one with Jet. All it is is a straight slant. He times it perfectly, goes over the shoulder, strips the ball away. That's a perfect job of coverage by Chris Dishman. Dishman, of course, replacing Dale Carter, who left to go to Denver, remaining in the division, so you know, Carter still will have to go against the Oakland Raiders over the years, and that was always a battle through the seasons. Tim Brown and Dale Carter. Timeout taken by Oakland, with Kansas City leading it. Seven to it up for both the Chiefs and the Raiders. Four are in the stadium here today in uniform. And they've swapped coaches as well. Nine different coaches have been a part of the Kansas City staff and the Raiders staff. On a third and seven now from the Kansas City 12. Gannon stepping forward. Slings one, nearly intercepted. 
Tim Brown was in that zone. He was the intended receiver. Marcus Patton had a chance to haul it in for the INT. And Oakland will have to settle for three. And Tim Brown coming across formation, but Marcus Patton steps up. The ball's thrown way out in front of him. There's double coverage by both linebackers on that play, Donnie Edwards and Patton. But right there, they're not going to let Tim Brown have a chance to catch the ball. If he does, they're going to tackle him short of the first down anyway. Solid defense by Kurt Schottenheimer, the defensive coordinator of the Kansas City Chiefs. 30-yard attempt now for Michael Husted, who did make one earlier from 33. The snap from Adam True. And the kick is good. Oakland cuts into the Kansas City lead. Off of the Oakland field goal, Michael Houston will kick it off to Tamarick Vanover, averaging 21 yards a return. And this ball will bounce out of bounds, and flags come down. Kick off out of bounds on the kicking team. The ball will be placed at the 40-yard line, first and 10. Good field position now following that miscue by Michael Houston. Coming up Monday on CBS, work off those Thanksgiving calories with some king size laughs. Watch Kevin James, Leah Ramini, and the one and only Jerry Stiller in an all new King of Queens. That's Monday here on CBS. First and 10 for the Chiefs from the 40 yard line. They lead it 7 to 6. Gerback handoff. Tony Richardson gets the call and he's ridden down just shy of the 50. That's a pickup of nine. Richardson had been averaging just under three yards per carry. So a good strong run for him on first down. And just pounding the ball between the tackles. And what Kansas City's able to do on first down, spread the offense out, get your wide receivers out wide, open up the defense, create us a natural lane, and slam the ball right up the middle. And that's got great success for this offense if they can continue to do that. But they're mixing their packages up on first down. No Rashawn Sheehy today, knee injury and ankle injury, but they are running the football. Give Mike Clough, the rookie out of Boston College. Able to cross midfield into Oakland territory, and that is a first down for Kansas City. So Mike Cloud seeing some action because of that injury to Sheehy, and you know, Gunther Cunningham had some nice things to say about Cloud and Sheehy for that matter. He views Sheehy more as a third down change of pace guy. Doesn't really look at him as an every down back right now. Not at all, but Mike Cloud's a story. He says, Mike Cloud, you can see in the future, he's going to be a great player. But right now, he's got that rookiness in him, which means he'll make a mistake here or there. He'll hit the wrong hole. He doesn't know pass protections, but you can see the glimmer of light at the end of the tunnel with Mike Cloud. Kerback throwing. Richardson in the flat, trying to struggle ahead to get to the line of scrimmage, which was the 48. And no gain on first down. Sam Sword and Charles Woodson collaborating to make the stop. Yeah, more on Gunther Cunningham. We know how emotional he is in general. You knew that with this matchup and the history between him and Al Davis and he didn't leave here on good terms, that Cunningham was really going to have the emotions riding high this week. And the thing about it, we talked to the players, they said he was great at the beginning of the week. Calm, cool, collective, walked the sidelines. Then by about Wednesday, he couldn't control his emotions. Then Thursday, he was in the huddle, chewing out the defense, chewing out the offense, getting the guys fired up, and they loved it. On second and ten, Gerback. Connects down to the 35-yard line. It's Andre Risen. 12 yards on the pass play and a first down for Kansas City. Risen covered by Eric Allen. Two former Pro Bowlers dueling here. These two have fought one another an awful lot over the years, but it's a nice curl turnaround by Andre Risen. He's almost the forgotten man in this offense. Hasn't had a lot of big plays. Kevin Lockett's really picked up the production. So has Joe Horn. Derek Alexander's really been their go-to wide receiver, but when they call upon Andre Risen to get it done, he catches the football. Look at Gerback's numbers. Eight of eight. 70 yards so far for Elvis, who was undefeated in his career against Oakland. Wants to throw it again. Flags come down, throwing down the sideline. It's caught by Gonzalez. This one looks to be coming back. So the false start is called, and the long pass play is negated. But here's the key, Ian. This play's negated, but it tells Kansas City one thing. Sam Sword, the rookie, is going one-on-one -on -one with Tony Gonzalez. If they ever get that matchup again, they will take hmm. advantage of it. Sword was undrafted out of Michigan. He led the Wolverines in tackles for three straight years. But a free agent now starting for the Oakland Raiders. Free agent rookie. That's rare that you see. 
Now a first and 15 from the 40. Four receiver set. Gerback over the middle and complete to Joe Horn. Out to the 30 yard line. They got back that yardage. 10 yard completion right now in NFL Today Report. Jim Nance. All right, I and the Colts and Peyton Manning ready to go in again and check it out. They're going to throw it for the end zone, right? Out of the shotgun. Manning, look at this. Picked off. Rookie Jason Wilson out of Nebraska. And the Jets are down one. Let's go back out to Oakland. And Jim, amazingly, second interception for Jason Wilkes this season. Defensive lineman. Just about five minutes to play first half on a second and five. Throwing over the head of Alexander. It's incomplete. Eric Allen had the coverage. First incomplete pass of the afternoon for Elvis Gerback. Elvis Gerbeck's been a machine the entire first half. Making the right reads, picking up the blitzes, getting the football off on stride, on his fifth step, on his third step. But right here, there's no chance he's going to complete that ball. Eric Allen was all over the wide receiver, Derek Alexander. In that loss to Seattle last week, their first at Arrowhead, by the way, Gerbeck put the ball in the air 49 times. And you can't win like that. And, and here's the key. Jimmy Ray, their offensive coordinator, said, if he can throw the ball 20 to 25 times, we'll win the game because that means we're running the football. On a third and five, the crowd getting into it. Play action. Gerback stumbling out of trouble. Throwing it low and incomplete. Kevin Lockett was in the area. Lance Johnstone applied the pressure. And Gerback stepped up and threw it away. This will be a very long field goal attempt of either 47 or 48 yards coming up for KC. And this is a big play by Johnstone. Going one-on-one -on -one with Ricky John Tate. Just beats him with speed up the field, but it disrupts the offense. Elvis Gerback can't get set and throw the football. Then he has to look for a secondary receiver and throws the ball short. Pete Stoyanovich is long on the season is 51. Long for his career is 59. This will officially be a 47-yard attempt. Stoyanovich connects from 47 yards away. And Kansas City has extended its lead. 10 to six for Gunther Cunningham's team. 4.51 to play second quarter. Three minutes and 47 seconds off the clock. 47 yard field goal for Pete Stoyanovich who will kick it off now with his team in front 10 to six. Those new K balls, all the kickers and punters have been complaining about those. Well they should, here's the key. Back in the old days, Ian, when I played in the NFL, what they used to do is get the balls on Friday, throw them in the dryer, get them knocked around in the tumbler, then throw them out on the AstroTurf, kick them around a while, then bring them to the stadium. Now they can't do that. They want to make the field level for every kicker and punter in the NFL. You see those fans behind Stoyanovich. One of the great crowds that you will find in the NFL. Raider fans, passionate and loyal. Kaufman running across the 25-yard line on the return and ahead to the 27. Well, great rivalries will also have great individual matchups. And for eight seasons, Oakland defensive end Ben Davidson looked across the ball to Kansas City quarterback Glenn Dawson. That matchup best summed up the intensity of this rivalry. Davidson and Dawson, two of the great names in pro football history. And Glenn Dawson is here today in Oakland, the longtime radio analyst for the Kansas City Chiefs. I got one question. Why is he wearing black? Uh, you know why, Mark. These guys are smart. Over the years, they've learned wear black, and maybe the fans will mistake you for an <laughs> Oakland Raider. Try to blend in. Exactly. <laughs> On a first and ten from the 27, Gannon throwing. Good catch made by Walker. It was a low throw, and Walker was forced to the sideline. Eric Hicks helping to make the tackle. It will be enough for a first down, an 11-yard pickup through the air. And Derek Walker, the ex chief just drags across the formation right here. A little bit of an out. Catches the ball low. But here's a guy that you don't expect him to catch the ball. He only has five receptions on the year. Ex-Kansas City Chief. But if they need a big play to Derek Walker, he'll get the play. I played with Derek when I was in San Diego. Mm -hmm. He was an every down tight end. Now he's getting up there in age. He's a specialist now. That like should be a specialist. Yeah, yeah, you are a specialist. We're not quite sure what you specialize in, though. <laughs> on a pitch, Napoleon Kaufman trying to sidestep. Cutting against the grade and brought down at the 36 yard line by Marcus Patton, a loss of three. Next Saturday, it's time to hoop it up with the season premiere of NCAA from the 36 yard line. Tyrone Wheatley in the backfield. Again, and wants to throw it. He does to Douglas. 
He has some room to run into Kansas City territory, and he has spun down at the 40-yard line of the Chiefs. Jerome Woods finally made the tackle, but Dudley just torched Kansas City for a 24-yard catch and run. And the key to this play, you're going to watch James Jett come from the right. He's going to pick off a couple of defenders, and it's going to free up Ricky Dudley. And both defenders, he runs them both. Bam, right there. Opens up Dudley to the outside. That's a easy pick and catch. Tremendous call, but a great job of James Jett running that pick and not getting called. Two catches, 43 yards now for the talented Oakland tight end. And once again, Oakland is moving the football. A first and 10 at the Kansas City 40. Gannon. Standing tall in the pocket, throwing the long ball down the sideline. Incomplete, James Jett, the intended receiver. He had Dishman one-on-one -on -one down the sideline. You want to talk about Stone Cold as a quarterback? You see the pressure coming around Rich Gannon in the pocket. Stands tall in the pocket, just waves it off. He's oblivious to the rush. Delivers the ball downfield. It's just a little bit long. James Jett just running the fly on the outside. One-on-one -on -one with Dishman. The ball's thrown too far. But the quarterback, Rich Gannon, in the huddle. It was a collapse job. Just stood in there and threw the ball. Jett is the designated deep threat for this Oakland team. And Gannon just overshot him. Now 8 for 14 throwing the football. On a second and 10 now from the 40. In the air once again. Wheatley juggled it and incomplete. Couldn't catch it cleanly, and he's probably better off that he didn't. Would have been driven back by Dishman either way. And it goes down as an incomplete pass and a third and ten now from the 40 for the Raiders. The quarterback Rich Gannon has to do a little bit better job of looking it off. Even though he feels it's a three-step drop, get rid of the ball, but it's one of those plays where... Tyrone Wheatley comes back to the huddle and says, is it something I said? You don't leave me hanging out like that if you see two defenders peering in on me, and particularly that linebacker right there, Marcus Patton. Oakland has not been able to run the football. Eight carries for 17 yards so far. Another passing situation. Get it. Avoiding the rush and finding John Ritchie, but he comes up short of a first down. Had to get across the 30-yard line. He picked up seven. They're three yards shy between two and three. On fourth down, Eric Warfield made the tackle. This would be a about a 51-yard field goal attempt for Michael Houston, whose long this season is 49. His career long is 57. And decision time right now for John Gruden. Rolls down to the Gruden has decided to go for it. Raiders on fourth down conversions this season, four of five. And Rich Gannon is such a weapon in these situations because of that scrambling ability. Not only that, he can pick up the blitz as well as any quarterback in the NFL and get rid of the football. And He's the other dimension, as you mentioned. If it's not there, if he can break contain, get outside of the tackles, he can pull it down and run for the first time. They shift the line on fourth and three. At the two-minute mark of the second quarter. Long count. Get it. Pump it. Throw it. First down catch made and more. John Ritchie is tripped up inside the 20-yard line. They got 17 when they needed just three. And the Raiders are now knocking on Kansas City's door. And they try to confuse Kansas City, and they do confuse them. And they put the fullback, John Ritchie, to the outside. Good protection up front, but Ritchie slips to the outside to the flat. No one sees him. No one covers him. Ricky Dudley runs a nice little screen for him. He catches the football to the outside, goes down the field to play. But it's the formation that confuses Kansas City. And the little shield by Dudley, that's his third reception for Ritchie, 36 yards. Line of scrimmage is now the 16-yard line. Gannett. Pump fit. Ends up. Touchdown. Ricky Dudley. Raiders take the lead. Goes for the pump fake, and the middle of the field is entirely open for Dudley one-on-one. -on -one. Point after, Michael Houston. 73 yards for Oakland. Gannon, by the way, on that drive against his former team. Five of seven throwing the football. 76 yards. Does he have an advantage knowing this Kansas City defense? I think he does, and particularly their blitz packages because he was the guy in, in scout team that used to go against their defense during blitz pickup drill. Every blitz they threw at him, he read it and got it off. He understands his defense. He understands the personnel. But going back to John Gruden, I think that was an easy decision to go for the first down in that situation. You're 5-5. Five and five. You must win to get to the playoffs. You're playing your arch rival at home. You've got to take chances offensively. In addition, the positioning on the field, they were at the 32, so even if they missed it, not tremendous field position for Kansas City. Here's Vanover. 
trying to squeeze his way up the middle and he did not get to the 30 yard line. A 22 yard return. Coming up the Nasdaq halftime report Jim Craig Randy and Jerry will get you caught up on all the scores and highlights. Hope you'll stay tuned for that. It's coming up on the Nasdaq halftime report. Week 12 in the NFL. Both of these teams are five and five. Kansas City suffering through a three game losing streak. Raiders have dropped two of their last three. 13 to 10. Oakland in front. Gerback is sacked on a blitz from Marquise Walker. And this crowd is really getting involved. It's an overload blitz from the outside. Rich Gannon does not see it. It comes from the outside. No one picks it up. He doesn't have a chance to set and throw the football. Not enough blockers. Too many rushes. And a loss of nine. Second and 19. Gerback will throw it underneath to Tony Richardson. Working that sideline. And Richardson got all the yardage back and then some. Right near the marker. As he was forced out of bounds by Greg Beaker. He picked up 17. It'll be third and short. You see the timeout situation. Kansas City still has three remaining. Oakland with two. And only 45 seconds left on the clock here in the second quarter. And the only thing I question about that play, Tony Richardson, he's a 245-pound fullback. He should put his shoulder down, get the first down, and get out of bounds. Don't come up short. Gerback. Guns one ahead. Incomplete. Derek Alexander with the intended receiver and Darian Gordon with the coverage. Now I'm going back exactly what I said on that play previous to that. If he gets the first down and lowers his shoulder, now they don't have to punt the ball away. Good coverage by the Oakland defense going right over the top as soon as the ball is thrown. Excellent one-on-one -on -one coverage, but going back to the last play, that's the play that's forcing Kansas City to punt at this point. And if Gordon can now make something happen, Oakland does have enough time on that clock to possibly squeeze some more points out before they hit the locker room. Some movement. And a flag comes down. It was out on the left side of that defensive front for Oakland. Ball start, number 44, five yards. It's still fourth down. But on the right side of the offensive front for Kansas City, and it is the Chiefs that were caught, Eric Warfield. And that's a big call for the Kansas City offense because if it's against Oakland and he jumps before he moves, he's drawn off sides. That's a bad call. If the defender jumps before the ball snap, he's drawing the offense off sides. That should be a call in the defense, not in the offense. And if it is, it's first down Kansas City. Mishandling the snap. Partially blocked. Flag comes down. Marquise Walker came firing in on Daniel Pope. It was a 20-yard putt. But Walker knows that he was out of line. Ineligible, number 51 downfield. The penalty is to climb. First down, Oakland. Also, no call on the Walker collision with Pope. Ineligible man downfield is the call on Kansas City. Let's take another look. You know, that's a nice snap. That's just Daniel Pope not being able to handle the snap. So Walker came in, got a piece of it. And now Oakland with very good field position. They operate on a first and 10 from the 48. The ball hit the ground on the snap, and that's probably the reason why Walker was not called on a penalty. Pope was open game on a dump off. Tyrone Wheatley. Angling his way to the sideline and out of bounds in Kansas City territory right around the 45. Eric Warfield forced him out after a seven yard gain through the air. NASDAQ halftime report is right around the corner. Jim Craig, Randy, and Jerry will get you updated on the scores and highlights on the NASDAQ halftime report. Still 29 seconds remain here in the second quarter at a second and three. Daniel Pope hearing it from Gunther Cunningham. On second down. Rich Gannon is twirled down by Marcus Patton. He had lost the football, but Oakland was able to trample on it. And with 24 seconds left now in the second quarter, on third down. 
get it. In trouble again. And he is twirled down back of the 40 yard line. Another sack. This time it was Donnie Edwards. Keep in mind this Kansas City defense had not recorded a sack for the last two weeks. And now it's Kansas City thinking they have a chance to get the football back. Donnie Edwards good field going position. through, and it's one side, it's one way. The other side, it's the other linebacker. No one touches Donnie Edwards, just flies right through there. Everybody's looking at him run by him. The offensive line, John Ritchie, the fullback. Someone's got to pick him up. He runs free, sack Kansas City Chiefs. Donnie Edwards and Rich Gannon used to be side by side in the locker room. <laughs> And Donnie told us that Gannon was a neat freak, a guy that made sure everybody was neat around him. And now Donnie has taken on that role that Gannon's in Oakland. They kind of asked him if he was the Felix Unger of the locker room, and he just started laughing. He just said, well, he was there before I got there, and he kept everything neat. And then when I moved into the neighborhood, it was my job to keep the locker next to me neat, which is the open locker that nobody's in. It's kind of the transition locker where free agents come through, players mm -hmm. get traded. So it was my job to police the area. So they've got their neat little neighborhood over there, and they make sure it's nice and tight. Only 21 seconds remain. Leo Aragus able to get the punt away cleanly. Here's Van Over. Fields at the 14. Trying to work that sideline. And he's out of bounds as he crosses the 25. They'll rule him out right around the 25-yard line. Pickup of 11 on the return after the 45-yard punt. Coming up next Sunday, it's doubleheader action on CBS. The NFL playoff races heat up. Many of you will see the red-hot Indianapolis Colts against the Miami Dolphins, a key AFC East matchup. And in the late game, some of you will see the Seahawks and the Raiders, the Chiefs and the Broncos, or Cleveland travel to San Diego. Check your local listings for the game and time in your area, beginning with Jim Craig, Randy, and Cherry on the NFL Today, right here on CBS. Kansas City will take a knee and allow time to run out here in the first half. It is a rivalry that dates back to 1960. And it's a tight one after one half of play complete. End of the first half. Really, you know, not something necessarily <laughs> that we're going to share with everybody. We'll tone it down a bit, but uh, saliva made its way into his face mask area when he took on the Raiders for the first time. He also got kicked at the bottom of a pile. That'll be something he'll never forget. That's the key about a rivalry. You always remember the scores. You remember the big hits, but it's always those little... Obviously is in desperate need of a win. Oakland in similar situation as we take a look at the numbers and passing yards. Yes, Oakland has been able to do the job with former Chief Rich Gannon, but rushing the football, as we mentioned, only 17 yards. Time of possession, very similar. Second half, what are you looking for? I look for both teams to be very physical. I look for Kansas City to try to establish their run again. I look for the Raiders to try to get some running on first down because it can set up their play action passing. Both of these teams are excellent at play action passing, but if you can't establish the run early on first down, the play action pass does you no good. Entering today, there was a three-way tie for eighth place in the AFC in a race for six postseason spots. How important is this game? Just do the numbers. Somebody is just trying to remain alive in the playoff race. Here is Kaufman. Napoleon Kaufman is brought down as he got to the 28-yard line after a 15-yard return, and Greg Minuski made the tackle for Kansas City on special teams. Rich Gannett. He doesn't blow you away. He's not one of those kinds of quarterbacks, but he gets the job done. He's not a classic quarterback, not six foot three, six foot four. He's listed there, but in meeting him, he's probably closer to 6'1", maybe 6'2". He's not one of those guys that can stand tall in the huddle. He has to drop deep if he's going to look down the field vertically. But what he has is the athleticism, and he's very savvy. He'll throw the ball sidearm. He'll take it down. He'll run with it. He'll find a seam to throw the football. Dudley, the motion man, handoff. Tyrone Wheatley's got his first big run. Wheatley crosses the 45-yard line, and that running game that was dormant in the first half opens up with an explosion on the first play of the third quarter. Now, and this play is huge for the Oakland offense because it sets up the play action. Right in the middle of the football field, he just runs north and south in the middle. Great blocking by the middle of the offense. Barrett Robbins, the center, Steve Wisniewski, the left guard. Barry Sims, the first-year player at right guard, do an outstanding job of moving the defensive front of the Kansas City Chiefs to the side. And a flag is lying on the field. 12 men in a huddle. That's not right. Well, Rich Gannon disagrees with that, as we all heard. It's a five-yard penalty for having 12 men in the huddle. Well, you heard it from Jerry Austin, 12 men in the huddle, and they will back it up 
five yards. That obviously took place after the Wheatley run. And just to put things in perspective, Wheatley just carried the ball 20 yards on first down, the first play of the third quarter. The entire Raider offense generated 17 yards in the first half. They got off to a, on the right foot here in the third quarter. Now a first and 15. Walker and Dudley, two tight end set. Play fake. Gannon stepping forward. Gunning one to the sideline and picked off. Intercepted by James Hasty. He has been a thorn in Oakland's side through the years. And Hasty has done it again. The Kansas City defense comes up with a pick. Very little pressure on Gannon. I said that that run would set up their play action pass. Automatically, they go with the play action pass the following play because the defense steps up. They've got to respect Tyrone, Re Tyrone Leakley in the run. He steps up in the pocket. No pressure. This is just a poorly thrown ball by Rich Gannon. Throws the out. His wide receiver, Rich Dudley, the tight end, doesn't get over in time, but it's a great play by Hasty. Here's a, one of the biggest turnover men in the NFL. He always finds a way to come up with a big turnover to help his team. Line of scrimmage is the 50. Play fake for Gerback. Rolling out. On a little dump off, trying to set up the screen, and Tony Richardson did a good job just to get back to the line of scrimmage and maybe squeeze out a yard, if that. You know, one note on this Kansas City defense, Mark. Since Gunther Cunningham came to Kansas City in a coaching role, the Chiefs have had a defensive touchdown in six of the eight games they've played against Oakland. Now, obviously, this is not a defensive touchdown, but it does bring to light that the Chiefs' defense has controlled these matchups against the Oakland offense through the years. They've owned the Oakland offense, and they've come up with great turnovers, and that's just Gunther Cunningham's coaching ability, his philosophy, and his emotions, particularly in this game. Mike Cloud bursting through the hole, and he has brought down to the 40-yard line. It was second and 10, and he picked up nine, depending upon where they spot the football. He had to get to the 40. Mike Cloud's a great change of pace for this offense. They're missing Rashawn Sheehy. Mike Cloud is actually the speed of this backfield at this point. You've got Bam Morris at 250, Donnell Bennett at 250, Tony Richardson at 245, the rookie out of Boston College. He can hit the hole a lot quicker than the other backs, and that's why he's going to be key to this offense, particularly in the fourth quarter when they need to pick up chunks of yardage. He was the fifth running back taken in the 1999 NFL Draft. On third and short, inside handoff and a first down for Kansas City. Tony Richardson getting the call. And a new set of downs for the Chiefs to work with in Oakland territory right around the 39. You know, Gunther Cunningham spoke with us yesterday, Mark, and talked about his relationship with Willie Shaw. And he said that's one of the most difficult things in this game when you have to go against one of your best friends in the world. And that's the way he described it. And they've been friends for an awful long time, dating back to Stanford over 20 years ago when they were on the coaching staff together. And Gunther Cunningham said, I love to go to my opponents. I always want to win because this game's about winning. But the problem is when you go against a friend, he doesn't like to talk to coaches and, and ex-friends before the game. So he probably didn't talk to Willie Shaw. But... Going against your friends, he doesn't want to talk to them before the game, but he has to talk to them during the game or after the game, and he's one of his closest. Tony Bryant appeared to be the problem. Bryant, the rookie, who's had a nice season, four and a half sacks, is now on the sidelines. And a first and ten for Kansas City from the Oakland 39. On a give for Cloud. And Mike Cloud able to advance the football ahead to the 36. Picked up about three. Sam Sward, Russell Maryland combining to make that stop. And the medical staff continues to look at Tony Bryant, who the Raiders found when they were scouting Andre Wadsworth from Florida State, and they've been happy with Bryant's play. A second-round pick backing up Lance Johnstone on the right side of that defensive line. This is a second and seven. Gerback airing it out to the sideline and complete. Derek Alexander, first down for Kansas City. Charles Woodson had the coverage, and they will spot the football just inside the 20. That's 15 yards through the air, and Gerback has not been shy about going at Woodson today. And here's the key. Everybody else has been shy about going after Charles Woodson, but on this play, Gerback went right at him with Derek Alexander. But what makes the play go? Tony Richardson, the fullback, steps up in the pocket and picks up the blitz of Beaker. That makes the play go. Gives quarterback Elvis Gerback time to throw the football. In the pocket, Gerback throwing the long ball to the end zone. Over the head of Alexander, incomplete. It was Woodson once again with the coverage. It'll be second and 10. The ball spotted just outside the 20. It's almost as if he's daring Charles Woodson. He's going right at Charles Woodson, throwing the ball vertically at him, which many teams don't do. 13 to 10. Oakland with a lead on Kansas City. But the Chiefs are driving. On a second and 10. 
Gerback. Quick count. Handoff. Donnell Bennett struggling to move ahead. He did cross the 20 yard line, but a pickup of just two. Darrell Russell making the stop as he wrapped him up. Well, the weather's getting colder, but the divisional races are heating up in the NFL. Get a complete review of every team as they battle for playoff positioning. Just click on NFL at cbs.sportsline.com. We'll call this third and eight from the 19. Kansas City is just one of six on third down conversions. Gerback handles the blitz, floats it over the middle, incomplete, but a flag. Joe Horn on the post pattern was the intended man. And it was Charles Woodson in the end zone. It's working against Kansas City, though. Pass interference. Number 84 on the offense. Come to supply. Fourth down. So Joe Horn, who did find himself open, there was a reason for it. Usually if you get open like that close to the goal line in the red area, you have to push off and physical at the point of attack on the outside. You'll barely see it at the bottom of your screen down in here. Joe Horn against Charles Woodson. But I'll tell you one thing. Elvis Gerback, when, he, when we spoke to him yesterday, he told us one thing. A lot of people don't throw at Charles Woodson, and he gave us kind of a coy look. Mm. Like he knew something that he was going to go after Charles Woodson today. Keep in mind, two Michigan men. They didn't play with each other, though. With the Wolverines, Gerback preceded Woodson. Stojanovic, a 37-yard attempt. And he connects. Pete Stojanovic has just tied this game at 13 apiece. Early third quarter from Oakland. Ecaf. <laughs> wow. You talk about emotion and passion. Or just two guys that can get it going for the camera. Either that or next time take the entire Prozac before you come to the game. Whoa. But I'll tell you one thing, that's the most hospitable Raider fans I've ever seen. Yeah. They allowed him to even enter the inner circle. But we don't know where he is now. Yeah, but that's good that's point. <laughs> Stoyanovich on the kickoff. It will be a short kick once again. Napoleon Kaufman stops and starts and gets ahead to the 30-yard line. A nine-yard return for Kaufman. And this just happened moments ago. The injury to Tony Bryant being helped off, and you see he's favoring that right leg so the left foot which we thought was the problem initially that is the issue for him and specifically it looked like the ankle and that's important for a Raider defense that relies on rotating their defensive ends and defensive tackles and keeping them fresh that's going to hurt this defensive front for the open range on a first and 10 from the 30 yard line all tied up 13 13 give to Wheatley again a hole for him to work with as he accelerates ahead to the 38-yard line, he picked up eight. And this Raider offensive line has looked like a different unit in helping on the run here in the third quarter. And it's Barry Sims on a power hole. He pulls from left to right, and he's an interesting story. He was in the World League, came over here. They put him at left tackle. He never played there. Had to go against Bruce Smith. Did a heck of a job. Then they put him at right tackle. Now he's at right guard. Played right guard last week against Trevor Price from Denver. Shut him down. And John Gruden said he's the biggest surprise they have on this football team. Sims in his first year out of Utah, and Gruden really went out of his way to praise him in our meeting. John Ritchie moving it ahead for the first down. He picked up three. He needed one across the 40. And that's just power blocking on the inside. And you take your big fullback. And that's only four, his fourth run of the season. But what they're doing is they're playing ball control up front, leading their big offensive line in hand. The big old Lincoln Kennedy. I talked to Lincoln the other day. Looked at Lincoln. He said, controlling my weight. I got it under 340 now. Pretty good job for the big fellow. And that's controlling it. That's under 340. On a first and 10 from the 42. Play fake. Get it. Wants to throw it. And throws the interception. Chris Dishman. Dishman trying to work his way free. He does. Touchdown, Kansas City on the Dishman pick and run for the score. 48 yards. There is no history between Dishman and Gannett. He could care less who was throwing the football. Dishman is a free agent who signed on this year for the Chiefs. And he just picked off Gannon. This was telegraphed. 
But the history is still Gunther Cunningham's defense. He gets hit at the end of the play, but there's confusion out in the flat. Here out in the flat, look at the duck by Tyrone Wheatley. Go catch the ball. Maybe it's your pass. The quarterback, Rich Gannon, throwing it to you. But Chris Dishman reads it perfectly, and that's the seventh time in the ninth game that Gunther Cunningham's defense has scored a touchdown on this Raider team. Amazing. It's almost a guarantee when these two teams play. Stojanovic adds the extra point. It's 20 to 13 Chiefs. These days, you hear a lot about e-commerce. Has at least one interception in each of the last 10 games they've played, and when the defense does its job, wow, look at the Chiefs' record in the 90s. Third career touchdown for the 12-year veteran Chris Dishman from Purdue. Former Houston Oiler, former Redskin. And Kaufman, out of bounds. Into Kansas City territory. Keith Stoyanovich, that final line of defense. 48-yard return. Here's a look at the interception. Tyrone Wheatley is going to run this route right here on the play-action fake. But I want you to watch Wheatley. Keep your eye on 47. If the ball's in your area, you go get the football. You don't do what he does. He's going to duck. You never duck. If the ball's in your area, go after him, put your hands on it. Chris Dishman reads it, runs it back for the score for the Kansas City Chiefs. Best field position of the day for Oakland. To start out. And Wheatley is devoured by Marcus Patton. And he had something to say following that play. Wow. He was all over Tyrone Wheatley. And they timed this blitz perfectly. It's a blitz right up the middle. It's a crossing blitz. You'll see Patton come across in front of the in front of the offensive lineman right there. Ooh. That's a memory I don't want to come back to me. I've had a couple of those happen to me before. And I'll tell you what, he'll feel that tomorrow morning. A loss of three, second and 13 now. Go to the air. Get it, avoid it. Throwing side off. Great catch made by Brown. And brought down at the 23. 20 yards. Gannon to Brown, and Gannon had to deal with the pressure. Chester McLaughlin got into the backfield. What a tremendous job by Tim Brown of holding on to this football, coming up with the catch, and then make something happen after the catch, get positive yards. But Rich Gannon scrambling out of the pocket, and instead of running with the football, he held the defenders of the Kansas City Chiefs, allowing Tim Brown to get behind him and finish his route and complete the pass. And a good play by Brown as well, realizing he was not touched. He got up and run and got that extra yardage. First and 10 now at the 22. Brown the motion man. Napoleon Kaufman trying to move straight ahead, and he was spun down after he picked up about four. On first down, Eric Hicks will be given credit for the tackle. And that is one option that Oakland has John Gruden at his fingertips. He's got Kaufman. He's got Wheatley. It's kind of like thunder and lightning. Wheatley is the bigger of the two. And then you go to your lightning, Napoleon Kaufman, who has that home run ability every time he touches the football, even though he has not scored a touchdown this year. And it's difficult for a defense to defend because they do it by packages, this Oakland offense. And if they want the speed, they give it to Kaufman. He's going to break, contain, and get to the outside. But Wheatley has the power and the speed to go the distance right in the middle of the field. Gannon takes a timeout with the clock. 78th regular season meeting between the Raiders and the Chiefs. Kansas City leads the all-time series with a mark of 39, 36, and 2. 2-1 two and one in the postseason. And this is a second and six. Kaufman took advantage of the hole and got it inside the 10. Nice zigzag move as he picked up 10 yards. And another first down. It'll be first and goal. Reggie Tung with a tackle to save the touchdown. And it's the pursuit on the outside. Derek Thomas from the outside gets sucked into the middle because he goes for the first move by Napoleon Kaufman. That allowed him to get to the edge. Thomas has contained on the outside. He bit on the first move. Kaufman takes it with his feet to the outside. That's why he got an 11-yard gain on the play. Once he gets to the perimeter, you've got to keep contained out there because once he gets there, he's tough to bring down. His big year was 1997. Nearly 1,300 yards on the ground. First and goal now from the seven. On a give, Tyrone Wheatley. And he's brought down quickly after he picked up a yard. And Chester McLaughlin is beginning to get involved. 
defensively now for Kansas City. We did not call his name for the longest time in this game. And up to that play, he only had one tackle coming into this game. And usually when you come back to a place where you play, you want to come back and you want to play well. He hasn't done much. He usually controls the line of scrimmage, but Barry Sims has been handling him. They double team him a little bit with Barrett Robbins at center, but Barry Sims has been handling him one-on-one -on -one and doing a tremendous job. Second and goal now from the six. Oakland looking for the equalizer. Gannon stepping forward, scrambling. Gannon to the end zone. Touchdown, Raiders. McLaughlin had a shot at him. But Gannon able to avoid Big Chester and get to the end zone. It's the fast feet of Gannon, but right here, watch McLaughlin. He's going to fight through a double team between guard and center. He squeezes through, but Rich Gannon sees there's nobody downfield. He runs to the outside, avoids the tackle, and it's the speed and the looseness of the quarter, quarterback, Rich Gannon, of making his play for a touchdown and the frustration of Chester McLaughlin. It was his job to contain the middle. He had too much penetration and didn't make the point. Second rushing touchdown of the season for Gannon. Michael Husted tacks on the extra point. The Chiefs and Raiders. Tied at 20. What did you expect? We're still in the third. 40-yard drive. Time of possession, 3 minutes and 41 seconds, resulting in a 6-yard touchdown run for Rich Gannon. It was all set up, though, by a Napoleon Kaufman 48-yard kickoff return. 20 apiece. 5.15 to play in the third. The kickoff from Houston. Vanover will field from the 10. Vanover is brought down as he crossed the 25-yard line, and the line of scrimmage will be the 27. A 16-yard return, Jermaine Williams making the tackle on special teams. Chester McLaughlin, one of 23 of those players that we mentioned earlier that has played for both the Chiefs and Raiders. Before that end of the drive, during the timeout, he was certainly sucking wind. And he needed air in a hurry. This is before the play. Here's the play that they need Chester McLaughlin. He fights through the double team, just doesn't have enough stamina to get to the quarterback, Rich Gannon, and he needs to be in better football shape at this point of the season. Gerback throwing. Sideline pattern. Lockett had it. They will rule it incomplete. Woodson with the coverage. Out on the far side. Big old Chester on the sidelines getting some air, but you know, at this point of the season, you should be in tremendous football shape. Halfway through the third quarter, you shouldn't be on a knee during a timeout. You should be in the huddle, getting your guys fired up, particularly if you're coming back to a place where you spent the beginning of your football career. Mike Cloud in the backfield, Tony Richardson the up man. On a second and 10 from the 26, a movement. Flags come down, play action. Gerback underneath. And Cloud could not bring it in. See what the penalty is, though. It appeared to be a free play for Kansas City. And was that's a big guy, Daryl Russell? Outside, number 96, five yards. Repeat second down. Just the third penalty assessed to the Oakland Raiders. And hey, if we're going to mention Chester McLaughlin, the fact that he hasn't been mentioned all that much today, neither has Daryl Russell today. That's one of the few times we mention his name, and he leads the AFC in sacks, eight and a half sacks. And now here's a guy that interior, when you get a lot of sacks in the interior of the line of defense attack, that's big because you're always fighting through double and triple teams. Now a second and five, Horn the motion man, and again, movement as flags come streaming down from every which angle. False start, number 88, five yards, and still second down. This one's on Tony Gonzalez, the tight end. That's unusual for Tony Gonzalez. Smart tight end in the NFL. Doesn't make very many mistakes. We haven't called his name out a lot. He's got to concentrate on the road. We asked Gonzalez about this rivalry. He said, hey, I hate every team we play. Yeah, it doesn't matter. It's at Seattle, it's San Diego. They're all rivalries to me. Second and ten now. Set up the screen. Here's Cloud. Had some momentum as he got it across the 30-yard line. And a pickup of seven, setting up third down and three. Charles Mincy, the former chief, combined with Richard Harvey to make that tackle. 
That's one thing about this offense of Kansas City. What they're doing is they're doing a great job of distributing the ball to everybody. The wide receivers, none to the tight end. Here's the area. Tony Gonzalez, one of the best tight ends in football. You've got to get him the football. Gonzalez came in with 41 receptions. Gerback on third and three, fires, intercepted. Greg Beaker going the other way. Beaker is brought down inside the five. This time, it's the Oakland defense opportunistic. And a 37-yard return off of that interception for Beaker, his second pick of the year. A smart job by Greg Beaker, dropping off into his zone, just sitting into the pocket. Elvis Gerbic fires the ball in the middle of the football field. Not a lot of pressure. The guy's going by him right there. That's a bad read by Elvis Gerbic. He's looking at his wide receiver, Kevin Lockett, one-on-one -on -one going across the field. Doesn't look at anybody else. He's got him pitching hold, eyed in, but so does Greg Beaker. He's following the eyes of the quarterback, Elvis Gerbic, fouls the ball in, intercepts it, and returns it for the Oakland Raiders. Great all-around game for the Raiders' middle linebacker today. Ten tackles, and there's the intercept. 37 yards on the return, setting up first and goal inside the five. Now, and the thing about Greg Beaker, you don't hear much about him because you hear about the Daryl Russells, the Russell Marylands, the Eric Allens on the outside, and Charles Woodson, but here's a guy that controls the defense for the Raiders. Play fake. Gannon floats it upstairs. Back of the end zone, caught by Dudley. Touchdown, Raiders. Second TD reception of the day for Ricky Dudley. Thanks in large part to the work of Greg Beekert on the defensive end. And it is Oakland now in front with a chance to take a 27 to 20 lead. And I am the key to this play, Derek Thomas has tied in Ricky Dudley one-on-one. -on -one. He goes for the fake on the play action. You get a mismatch. He's four inches taller than him. Right here, just fires by him. Once he gets by him, just loft the ball over the top. The big guy comes down with it, ex-basketball player. The older guy, Derek Thomas, can't keep up with him. He's just too big and too physical for him. Extra point for Michael Houston. Dudley did play basketball at Ohio State. He looked like a football player, though, as well on this one of the season. Gerback, who has played well here today. Tyrone Wheatley. He told us he's not a rah-rah guy. He's a very private person. He looked pretty rah-rah right there, getting into it with his Oakland Raiders crowd. Wheatley, who has kick-started his career with the Raiders, and that's not the first time we've said that about a player at Oakland. Vanover spinning his way ahead as he gets to the 30-yard line, a 20-yard return. Tuesday on CBS, an air disaster was in pilot refugee camp for guys who couldn't quite make it anywhere else. And anybody that had a problem in the NFL that yep. couldn't make it on their team, you'd end up here with the Raiders. And, and you look at this football team, they've got a solid foundation here, and they've got tremendous athletes on both sides of the ball. Mike Cloud on first down. He is able to shake and bake his way across the 40-yard line and a 15-yard run for Cloud, who has played well here today for Kansas City in the absence of Rashawn Sheehy. Four carries, 30 yards now for Cloud. I talked about Mike Cloud early in the ball game, and I said he would make a difference later on in this game because of the power running backs. The defense gets lulled to sleep by the big guys in the backfield. All of a sudden, you had a quick guy. He's gone right between the tackles. He gets big yardage. On first down from the 45, Gerback in the pocket. Plenty of time initially. Now avoiding the rush, rolling out, throwing, as his receiver was able to come back for the football. Tony Gonzalez finally getting his name on the board his first catch of the day Lance Johnstone was the man that was forcing Gerback to roll out they picked up eight on the play take a look at the big guy right in the middle Daryl Russell 96 he's going to go to the Pro Bowl this year but one-on-one -on -one against Dave Zott two guys that are great players in the NFL Zott does an excellent job manhandling the big guy that's excellent pass protection by Dave Zott textbook on second and two Cloud saw the opening, took it, and got the first down across the 45-yard line. Grady Jackson making the tackle. Keep in mind, Tony Bryant was forced to leave this game with a foot injury, so the Raiders defensively a bit thinner on that front. And because of that fact, I think offensive coordinator for the Kansas City Chiefs, Jimmy Ray, is going to pound the football. They love to pound it anyway, but now it's an opportunity. If you pound them now, they'll wilt late in the fourth quarter, and they can take advantage of it with play action passes and go in deep. 
Mike Cloud came into the game with 24 career yards rushing in the NFL. He's got 33 today. Off of play action. Gerbach had it knocked away. Lance Johnstone got in there. Recovered by Jackson. Chiefs fumble it away. Another turnover in the Oakland defense. Rising to the occasion once again in the second half. Nine. Lance Johnstone led this team in sacks last year with 11. You put him against the rookie, a sack specialist on the outside. He's going to come all the way to the outside. And he's going to beat John Tate. He gets the soft shoulder to the outside. Elvis Gerbeck steps up, strips him right there of the football. Tremendous play by Lance Johnstone. But why do you leave a rookie? John Tate, first start in NFL, crucial situation of the game. Put a tight end over there. Put a back over there to chip on a good pass rusher. They leave him one-on-one, -on -one and they pay the price. And Johnstone kept coming. Initially, it looked like Tate had the angle on him, but Johnstone Stone didn't quit and it turned into this a turnover and a first down run for Wheatley who is brought down from behind a three yard gain and Dan Williams did a nice job to wrap him up from the backside now two turnovers apiece but Oakland has the advantage on the scoreboard 27 to 20 with a minute 38 and counting left in the third quarter Gunther Cunningham's defense did give him the touchdown he was looking for, but offensively, they've been very quiet now in the second half. On the double tight end set, quick slant, incomplete, flag down. Brown, the intended receiver, on the pass from Gannett, covered by Chris Dishman. Doesn't appear, though, that there was any flag on the play, so... Now Jerry Austin signals this is third down. Third and seven from the 47. Richie and Crockett. They're split in the backfield for John Gruden's club. On third down, Jet in motion. Back to throw. Gannett flushed out. Gannett sidestepping. And finally brought down. Chester McLaughlin was there for the sack. All right, and that's one of those come to poplars. Chester McLaughlin was on his knees. All he does is lunge out and gets Rich Gannon. Here's the situation. Rich Gannon can run with the football. Take it down, run with it, get positive yardage. He's trying to get all the enchiladas here, get everything in one basket. He gets great protection up front. Steps, it's not there to the left. Comes to the right, let's look for something to happen. It's still not there. Chester McLaughlin on his knees lunges out and gets the sack. That's just great hustle by McLaughlin. Relentlessness going for the quarterback. Leo Aragus hasn't been quite as busy as he was on Monday night. Tamarek Vanover made the decision to catch it and run. And the Oakland Raiders special teams made the decision to send him to the turf. A one-yard return after the 33-yard punt. And Adam True able to get down the field to make that tackle. And I, Tamarek Vanover, you mentioned it before that Gunther Cunningham told him this was his chance. He better make something happen or he's going to get benched. He told him on the plane yesterday, right now here, yeah. this is your chance. If you don't make something happen, I'm going to bench you, and I will do it. I will replace you on this team. You're going to get your opportunity tomorrow. So far, he hasn't come through with his football team. Look at the second half reception, possessions, and the interception as we talked about with Hasty, and of course, the one from Chris Dishman as well for the seven points. This one looked ugly from the beginning. Elvis Gerback is brought down by James Harris. And this can't happen. Miscommunication in the huddle. You're in a hostile environment. Settle down. The back goes one way. Quarterback goes the other way. Miscommunication right there. This cannot happen. Elvis Gerbeck has to go back to the huddle and take control of the situation. Fellas, calm down. We're backed up. We had a bad play. Let's run our offense. After the busted play. It'll be second and 15. Alexander in motion. Gerbeck. Quick throw. Was it picked off is the question. Woodson streaks into the end zone. Touchdown, Oakland. The officials had to gauge whether or not he got it before it hit the turf. Put another touchdown on the board for the Raiders. Woodson with his first interception of this season.
and the defensive excited. rookie of the year. And he's excited about it. And Elvis Gerbeck played with fire too much going in the area. Tony Gonzalez has the ball. It's knocked loose. Mm. What a great job right there. He picks it off the ground. Tremendous athleticism and concentration by Charles Woodson. Houston with the extra point. The 14 yard return for Woodson for the score. You're talking about inches and he pulled it off. Oakland in celebration mode, but still a full quarter left, including three seconds in this one, the third. There's a ton of time left, and Rich Gannon throws this ball. He sees the blitz coming. That's his man on the outside hot. Tony Gonzalez has to catch this ball, but Charles Woodson, what a superior play. Oh. That is a pro bowl play right there, picking it off the ground and then scoring the touchdown after the interception. And that is a pro bowl player. Went to the pro bowl in his rookie campaign out of Michigan. He has lived up to all the expectations. But the one number that stood out when you looked at their stats, no interceptions this season until now. Teams were afraid to throw in Charles Woodson's direction. Elvis Gerback kept testing him, kept testing him. Sooner or later, something's going to give. It wasn't the play of Charles Woodson. It was just his reaction. The ball should have been caught by Tony Gonzalez, but Charles Woodson, Johnny on the spot, made a play. That is his first NFL touchdown. Charles Woodson. And what he's been through this week as well, Woodson involved, of course, in that terrible incident at the end of the Denver game on Monday night where he allegedly threw a snowball into the crowd and hit the face of a female fan in the stands. Vanover on the return, getting to the outside. Vanover hurdling with a flag down as he got across the 35. Flags down on the play. 28-yard return for Vanover. Negated. The official saw a hole. Holding on the receiving team during the run back. Number 95. 10 yards. Will be first down. That's also the end of the third quarter. End of the third. 34 to 20. Oakland will return after this message and a word from your local station. Celebrate the CBS 12 Days of Christmas with one reindeer who isn't afraid to work overtime for Santa. Ready, Rudolph? Ready, Santa! Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, CBS Wednesday. Nash Bridges is living large. The address is CBS. NFL Sunday Ticket is brought to you in part by Super 8. All the room you want. What would it be worth to wake up in a great mood? I'm in a great mood! Because you had a good night's sleep. I slept like a baby! In a nice, comfortable room. What a room, 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 yeah! How about 10% off? Hey, I like that 10%! With Super 8's VIP card, it's yours. Guaranteed. VIP, that's me! At over 1,800 locations. Clean, friendly, Super 8. Clean, friendly, clean, friendly, yeah! Super 8. All the room you want. Yeah! So, Jimmy, who's the best Super Bowl team ever? Well, Rebecca, football is a complicated sport. Most women don't understand. But I'd have to say Dallas and their gloomy day defense. You mean doomsday defense? Then there's the Pittsburgh satin curtain. Steel curtain. Whatever. At least we both drink Miller Lite because it tastes great, right? Well, actually, I like it because it's less filling, but it's nice to drink with such a football expert. You know, I was a guard for the Packers. Jimmy, you were parking lot security. Taste the true business. Are you looking down my shirt? This is awfully sweet of you, Mrs. Anderson. Well, I like for newcomers to feel at home in the neighborhood. Well, I'm sure they appreciate it. I hope so. They seem like such nice people. Welcome to the neighborhood. Colossus Bakery can help you welcome some old... Through, after the Charles Woodson interception return for a touchdown, Kansas City takes over on a first and ten at the 18. Bursting through the hole is Mike Cloud as he stumbles ahead across the 25-yard line for a pickup of seven. Just to finish up on Woodson, he was charged with misdemeanor assault for allegedly throwing that snowball into the crowd on Monday night. That was a terrible, terrible scene in Denver. Eight fans were arrested, 13 others were issued citations for assault, 50 were ejected. There should have been more on a second and three now. It's Cloud again, but he runs into a crowd. 
maybe picked up a yard as this Oakland defense continues to pick up steam. It sets up third and short. Last week, the Heidi game was voted as the NFL's 10th most memorable game. This Wednesday, find out what's at number nine. Check it out only on NFL.com. What a turn of events here, Mark. This Raiders defense is now dictating what we're seeing on the field. And this is what they wanted. They finally have an opportunity where they're up on an opponent where they can go after and pin their ears back and find the backfield of the offense. And I think the Raiders right now will try to come up with a big play again defensively. Off of play action, Gerback on the other side of the field. Gonzalez is wide open, sprinting down the sideline. It's a foot race. Gonzalez is in. Touchdown, Kansas City. 73 yards through the air. Tony Gonzalez, who has been very quiet here today, has just gotten the Chiefs right back into this one. On a throw from Gerback, the Oakland defense was thoroughly fooled. And waiting for Tony Gonzalez to explode, and he does on that play. He's one-on-one -on -one with Greg Beaker, the middle linebacker. The entire defense comes up. The play fake right here is what's going to sell it, but right here, watch Gonzalez. He gets caught right in the middle, and they're confused on defense, and Beaker's trying to catch him. It's over. Right now, the race is over. Tony Gonzalez got by him. They went for the play-action fake for the middle on third and short, and now it's just a foot race. Can he get there? He does. Eats Stoyanovich on for the extra point, the longest reception of Tony Gonzalez's young career in just his third year from Cal. Gerback got it to him, and Kansas City is back in it. I know you've all heard the testimonials, and you're saying, yes, Gene, by unleashing the power of visualization, I can change my life. But what, Gene, what can I visualize to become a leader, a giant among my peers, while achieving a sense of inner calm? Close your eyes. And picture yourself as this. The Accord from Honda. It's one powerful car. Uh, give me soybeans. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, scroll up. Buy it, buy. Next page. Close that, close that. All right, beautiful. Sell, sell, sell it. All right, highlight four. Scroll up. Up, up, up. The voice activated wearable computer. Buy it, buy it. Baby. It may be far out. Uh, hi, Donna. Oh, yeah, the meeting was fine. But it's not far off. I'll be on the afternoon flight. Your turn to pick a name for gifts, Terry. Mm -hmm. You are going to Radio Shack. Right around the corner. Lucky somebody. Mm -hmm. Howie? Need a cool gift quick? Radio Shack has an electronic cooking thermometer, an RCA digital camera, a mini headset phone, a digital tire gauge, and a golf scope that measures distance to the pin. Well, let me see those. Howie. 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 Huh. Radio Shack. Get in, get out, get what you want, or shop online. How do you tell your own wife? Sucky baller right here. She's fired from the team. Oh, I don't want you off the team. Why, you want to be off the team? An all-new King of Queens, CBS Monday. Thirty-four to twenty-seven, Oakland with a lead. Thirteen thirty-eight to play in the fourth quarter. Gear back to Tony Gonzalez. Just his second catch of the day. Gonzalez was, had been held in check up until that point, and it turned out to be a huge play for Kansas City to get back into this ball game. Stojanovic on the kickoff. Kaufman catches at the seventeen. Kaufman. Emerging through the hole as a flag comes down. He got up just shy of the 45-yard line. But a penalty flag on the play. After the 27-yard return from Kaufman, who had a long one earlier. And this one is coming back. Illegal block from behind. Number 83, you're in the return. Ten yards. It'll be first down. Ricky Dudley called on it. Frank Gans, Jr., Special teams coach of Oakland, obviously shaking his head in disgust. Keep an eye on Tony Gonzalez right here in motion. He's going to make a move and split there, but the two defenders of the Oakland Raiders run into each other right there. Greg Beaker gets twisted around. He's got him one-on-one. -on -one. There's no way he's going to catch Tony Gonzalez from behind, and that's the biggest play of the day for this offense, the Kansas City Chiefs. Play action, get him to step in and respect the run, get your tight end Tony Gonzalez in a mismatch, and whenever he's one-on-one -on -one with the linebacker, he'll win those wars. On again for Tyrone Wheatley in a gaping hole. 
spilled out across the 20 yard line as he picked up seven on first down. It'll be second and three. Here in the early stages of the fourth quarter, Derek Thomas making the tackle on Wheatley. And Gonzalez, a former basketball star as well at Cal, has known Darrell Russell of the Oakland Raiders, defensive lineman, since their days in high school. So you know, we asked Tony about Russell's athletic skills as a basketball player, and I'm quoting now. He said, Darrell is a pretty good player for a fat guy. No, she said that about 30 miles away. <laughs> <laughs> but they're friends, so obviously Tony can get away with it. Now, when you said it, I thought that was weird. <laughs> and a handoff for Kaufman. Kaufman trying to inch closer to the first out. Tom Bart brought him down. They had to get across the 24-yard line for a new set of downs. And he picked up two. It will be third and short unless they take a measurement, and it looks like now they're going to bring out the chains. It appeared to be very close. And I am, when you talk about a rivalry, this is the best it gets. It doesn't get any better than this. We have two teams fighting it out one on one. High scoring, big play, sacks, turnovers, interceptions, run backs. Guys down there giving their all on the field. You can't ask for a more exciting game than this right here, Kansas City at Oakland. Jerry Austin told the Raiders that they are short. It's third and less than a yard. Crockett, first down, Oakland. Got ahead to the 27-yard line. He picked up four. And a new set of downs for the Raiders to work with, leading this game 34 to 27. Kansas City's defense has produced a touchdown. Oakland's defense has produced a touchdown. We've had a little bit of everything here this afternoon. And a first and ten now for the Oakland offense from their own 28. Kaufman able to bang off a couple of potential tacklers to start with as a flag came down. And he moved the football to the 35-yard line, but the penalty will work against Oakland. Illegal shift. Two men moving and not resetting. Tailback move while the man was in motion. Five yards. Repeat first down. And a strong description from Jerry Austin, the vet. Textbook. Absolutely test textbook. That was perfect. But not for the offense of this Oakland team. And that's John Gruden, the head coach, and he wants nothing but perfection out of this offense. And he wants to win this game. Both teams want to win this game, but it's a rivalry game. Both teams are five and five. The winner of this game has a shot at the playoffs. The loser, I would say, is virtually out of the race. Oakland is three and one this season, coming off of losses. So they have bounced back nicely after defeats. On a pitch, Kaufman couldn't handle it. And now is forced to just cover up as flags come flying down again. Now the flags are beginning to bunch up. And another penalty against the Raiders. It just seems momentum shifts almost after yeah. every two series. Goes to Kansas City, goes to Oakland. Goes You're right. Kansas City goes to Oakland. The second Oakland fumble, they've recovered Holy. both. Number 85. The penalty is declined. Second down. So it was already first and long. About 15. Now it will be second and about 20. Napoleon Coffin just did not look the pitch in. The first thing you have to do is the ball's being pitched to the outside to get the perimeter. Look the ball into your hands, grab a hold of it, and then run with it. And now Kaufman is on the sideline with his helmet off, and Tyrone Wheatley is checked in. Derek Walker in the two tight end set. He was the man in motion, now sets up. Play fake. Get it. Throw it. And Richie able to haul it in. He's brought down, though, at the 20-yard line. He picked up a modest gain of two. Derek Thomas was all over him out near the far sideline. Clock is moving. Ten and a half to play in the fourth. Chiefs are five and five. The Raiders are five and five. One of these two teams will remain in the playoff picture in the AFC. The other will have a major hurdle to overcome if they fall short today. A four receiver set trying to spread the field for Rich Gannett underneath the coverage. Zach Crockett and he's brought down well shy of a first down. He was tackled out around the 26 yard line. They picked up five and Marcus Patton was all over it and Kansas City will get the football back trailing by seven. 
Look at the AFC playoff picture up to the minute standings. Jacksonville running away with things at 10 and 1, but Tennessee still in the hunt at 9 and 2. The cutoff you see after the six teams is where Buffalo and New England meet. And New England with a very tough loss earlier today in terms of their playoff potential. Leo Aragus on the punt. Vanover. He knows there's pressure on him from Gunther Cunningham. He does not come through with that pressure on it. He's brought down as he backtracked at the 30-yard line. Minus four on the return. But Kansas City looking for the equalizer. Tom Blend is bringing us these magnificent views from the sky here in the Bay Area. We thank them for coming on board here today. From Network Associates Coliseum. Handoff to Mike Cloud on a first and 10 from the 29, and he crosses the 30 and gets it ahead to the 32. A pickup of three, and Cloud has been the featured back here this afternoon. He's the rookie out of Boston College. Eight carries, 45 yards. It's almost surprising when you look at this backfield. Kimball Andrews gets injured early in the season. Then they've got Tony Richardson, Donnell Bennett, Bam Morris, a host of running backs, Rashawn Sheehy, and the rookie is carrying the load today in Mike Cloud, and he was the last man on the depth chart. Call it a second and seven play fake. Kerback is sacked. Greg Beaker, what isn't he doing today? Greg Beaker just blitzes through the middle. No one picks him up. That's key. Someone has to pick him up. Elvis Gerback sees him out of the corner of his eye. Right here is Beaker. He's going to get the sack, but no one picks him up. They run an E-Max stunt. You have to zone that off. No one touches him. Elvis Gerback thinks it's going to be picked up. It's not picked up. Gets the sack. Eats the sack from Kansas City Chief. But that's a big play by Beaker. 12 tackles. His first sack of the season to go along with that interception earlier. Now a third and 15. Gerback. Looking to throw it. Makes the connection underneath to Donnell Bennett. But they will not have enough for the first down. They picked up nine. They needed 15. And Beaker and Harvey combined on the stop. Beaker has been everywhere. And the thing that's key about Greg Beaker, he's like Marcus Patton. They're every down guys. They're not situational guys. They stay in first, second, third down. And he always comes up with big plays. He led the team two out of the last three years in tackles. He leads the team again in tackles this year. He's been the starter at middle linebacker for this Raider team since 94. Daniel Polk will punt it. Darian Gordon waits. Oakland in front, 34 to 27. Punt from Polk. And the fair kick signal is made. Now the... Wheatley and Richie are in the backfield. Flags come flying down as they let the play go. And it was Tyrone Wheatley getting the call, but let's see what the call is from Jerry Austin, who now is a very busy man in the second half. Number 26, offside, lined up in the neutral zone by the defense. Five yards, repeat first down. Offsides on Chris Dishman. In the neutral area. That's strange for Chris Dishman. If you're going to be up to press, at least have the wide receiver close to the line of scrimmage. And here he is, and he's off the line of scrimmage. And for Chris Dishman, that's just a mistake. And that's just not being smart and playing sharp football. Get up there to press when your guy's on the line of scrimmage. But if he's off, take a step off the line of scrimmage and read the play. Eight penalties, 55 yards for Kansas City. And Wheatley may have gained one. They'll probably give him no gain on the play. It'll set up second and five. Thursday on CBS, find out who will be athlete of the century when entertainers Garth Brooks, Whitney Houston, and Paul Simon join all-time greats Michael Jordan, Muhammad Ali, Wayne Gretzky, and Joe Montana. Sports Illustrated's 20th Century Sports Awards, Thursday at 9, 8 Central on CBS. On a second and five now from the 31. Now it's Kaufman in the backfield along with Richie. Off of the play fake. Derek Walker, the tight end, former chief, has the first down. He dropped the football. It's Dishman down the sideline. Touchdown, Kansas City. What a sequence. Has there ever been a game that we've been associated with? There's been so many scores and so many awkward positions and plays. Chris Dishman just being smart on the play, going at the tail end of the play. Derek Walker has to hold on to the football. Both hands. You're getting extra yardage is one thing. But the first thing you do is you protect the football. It's a great play to be diagrammed. They go with the open boot, the misdirection. Walker's wide open. Look at him. He's carrying the ball like a loaf of bread. The ball gets stripped on the tackle. 
by Jerome Woods, but Chris Dishman comes up with a fumble and runs it back. That's a good strip. It's a clean strip by Woods. Chris Dishman just being around the football, picks it up and runs it in for the touchdown. I think the Raiders feel that he was down. We'll take another look at this, but I think the ball was out. It was a good strip. Whether or not down. Oakland is charged with their second timeout. And the added storyline now that the Raiders have just one timeout left. That will cost them. And Gruden is livid. 6.24 to play in the fourth. And Pete Stoyanovich is on for the extra point and a chance to tie this game at 34 apiece. Chiefs and Raiders. One of the best rivalries in all of sports playing a classic game. For those of you expecting to see 60 Minutes, you are watching the NFL on CBS. The Chiefs and the Raiders. Ian Eagle along with Mark May. This game is all tied up 34 apiece. 60 Minutes will be seen in its entirety immediately following this game, except on the West Coast in the Mountain Time Zone. Napoleon Kaufman on the return. And Kaufman runs into a crowd as he got ahead to the 34-yard line. 21-yard return. Time to get an NFL Today report. Let's go to New York right now in Jim Nance. All right, I am down seven. Jets based fourth and 17 in Colt territory. Lucas right on the money, but Wayne Corbett couldn't hold on to it. And the Colts win to go to nine and two. Let's go back to the game of the year. Any questions about the Colts being for real? They've been answered. Nine and two. Right here, you've got two teams fighting for their playoff lives. Both at five and five. Tied at 34. In the pocket. Gannon running with the football. Rich Gannon trying to sprint to the outside. He does. The former chief getting into Kansas City territory. A 19-yard scramble for Gannon. And a first down for the Raiders. This is where Rich Gannon's most dangerous. We talked to Reggie Chung. He says it's very frustrating when you're covering your man down the field to play. You've done your job, and Rich Gannon steps up and makes a play, but he picks up a great block on the outside by Tyrone Wheatley that springs him for the first down. You just missed it there, but Wheatley does a great job of blocking Donnie Edwards. But Gannon landed in an awkward fashion, that right leg, and he came up limping a bit. First and 10 now at the Kansas City 47. Play clock is winding down. They'll get the playoff. On the handoff for Wheatley. Trying to break one tackle. He was cut down low. As he got it across the 45 and a pickup of four. It'll be second and six. Marvkis Patton will be given credit for the tackle. And now that clock becomes so important with 518 left. And this game all tied up. And one thing about Rich Gannon, he's a competitor, he's a true leader. As a player in the huddle offensively in my past, when a guy would lay it on a line for you, you go the extra effort for him. Here's a guy who's wearing a cast on one arm, he's limping on the other side of his leg, but he still hangs in there and tries to make play to allow you to try to win a football game. Let's call it a second and five. Line of scrimmage is the Kansas City 42. Off of play action. To the outside, Richie working the perimeter of the field, and that's a first down for Oakland. Forced out of bounds. As he got it across the 35-yard line, a 10-yard hookup. Jerome Woods was the man that forced him to the sideline. And John Ritchie out of the backfield. He's been an integral part of this offense. His fifth catch for 48 yards. The linebackers come up. They step up to respect the run. But John Ritchie just leaks to the outside. And it's been an easy pitch and catch for quarterback Rich Gannon and fullback John Ritchie. He's been a safety valve. They need to go with him more and more this afternoon because he's another dimension of their offense that they haven't used a lot. Now a first and 10 from the 32 on a give Napoleon Kaufman trying to run in between the tackles and the Kansas City defense was ready including Donnie Edwards Donnie Edwards has had an outstanding year for this team he was a middle linebacker last year when they got Marcus Patton to take the middle over from the Washington Redskins in free agency they moved him to the outside he's learning a new position but he has speed he has the speed of a safety but he's got the size of a linebacker he can cover a tight end he's their weak linebacker he flies up and down the line of scrimmage and gets tons of tackles for this team 10 tackles in a sack already for Donnie Edwards. second and 11 once again, off of play action, and this time, Rich Gannon is brought down in the backfield. Another sack for the Kansas City defense. 
fifth sack of the day. And Dan Williams will be given credit for his third sack of the season. It's the rush on the outside. Derek Thomas on one side. On the other side, you've got Big Chester, but right in the middle, Dan Williams gets the sack. And it makes Rich Gannon step up to the teeth of the defense. This is orchestrated. They do this on purpose. Get the speed rush on the outside, make him come up to the teeth of the defense, and collapse the pocket around the quarterback. A pivotal third and 16 from the 38. A four receiver look. Raiders have just one timeout remaining. And they've just used it. At the 336 mark of the fourth quarter, remember that coach's challenge crucial play for the Raiders on a third and 16 from the 38. This game is tied at 34 apiece. Get it. Throwing over the middle. It's caught. Brought in by Tim Brown. 12 yards through the air. They needed 16. It is fourth and four now from the 26. This will be a 43 or 44 yard attempt. That was a huge play to get into field goal position for Michael Houston. And there's one thing we haven't seen in this game. We've seen every type of score and we haven't seen a blocked kick, a blocked field goal. And that could be the next thing in this game. But we've had just about everything in this game. Interception returns, fumble returns, interceptions. The ball's been turned over. Big plays on both sides of the football game. 44-yard attempt. Houston for the lead. No good. Houston missed it. And Kansas City takes over with a chance to possibly steal this one in Oakland. Good snap, good hold, the ball's down, it's set. He just hooks it to the left. And this is where timeouts can become crucial. Kansas City has timeouts, they've got perfect field position. All they have to do is run the clock down, move the ball, they need three first downs to have a shot at it. Three first downs and they get a shot at winning the football game. Kansas City swept the season series from Oakland last year. In fact, they won four straight over the Raiders. Now a first and 10 from the 34. Gerback throwing, caught by Alexander. Tried to get ahead to the 40-yard line, and that's probably where they will put the line of scrimmage. A pickup of six. Richard Harvey making the tackle. The AFC playoff race. You see Kansas City and Oakland. Both are five and five. Both are hovering around 500 in the conference. And the winner will take a step closer to possibly joining the five other teams that will make the playoffs in the AFC. Six teams go to the postseason. On a second and four. Handoff, Cloud sidestepping, second effort, and Mike Cloud has got a first down. He got ahead to the 47-yard line and picked up six. Cloud seeing the most time that he has ever seen in an NFL game, and he is coming through for Gunther Cunningham. Nine carries, 54 yards, and we have hit the two-minute warning. This is exactly the Monster.com blip joining us here today and providing us with these live shots of the football action here in the Bay Area. Monster.com, check them out on the internet. Kansas City 34, Oakland 34, but the Chiefs have the football with a first and 10 at the 46-yard line. The Chiefs have dominated this series through the 90s. It was all Oakland in the 70s up until the mid-80s, and things began to shift. Play action. Gerback throwing low, and Gonzalez was there to bring it in. Tony Gonzalez at the 45-yard line of Oakland, a nine-yard gain. Let's go to New York right now. NFL Today report, Jim Nance. Hey, uh, I and Tampa Bay won for the fourth straight game. They did so with a backup rookie quarterback out of Tulane, Sean King, throwing the touchdown pass here that iced it. Uh, Trent Dilfer out with a broken clavicle. Back to you. So one of these two teams can inch a little bit closer to Seattle in the AFC West. On a give, Mike Cloud has the first down and a little bit extra. Out near the 35-yard line. A gain of seven, and Kansas City is moving the football, and the clock is moving as well. A minute 12 and counting. They're doing it the right way. You go to your go-to guy, that's Tony Gonzalez. Get the football in his hand. I stated earlier, Mike Cloud's another dimension for this offense. He's not a power back. He's a speed back, and that will tail the tail late in the fourth quarter, and that's exactly what's happened for the Kansas City offense. Getting into field goal range. Gerback forced out. Throwing. 
Incomplete. Alexander had it. Out near the sideline, but it does stop the clock with 50 seconds left in the fourth. Chiefs still need some yardage, though, to give Stojanovic a chance. Tremendous job of Elvis Gerback avoiding the rush and putting the ball right where it needs to be. Wide receiver Derek Alexander is thinking about making a big play. Catch the ball first. Fundamentals. Don't try to make a big play. Just catch the football. Pete Stojanovic has the warm-up jacket on, waiting for his chance. Second and ten from the 38. Gerback, short drop, throw into the sideline. It was intended for Ryzen. He wanted a flag, and he got one. Eric Allen on the far side. We have not heard much from Ryzen here today. I'll tell you one thing, though. Joe Horn was wide open going down the half. If he takes one plant foot and look down the middle of the field, he's got Joe Horn for a big play. He was locked in on Ryzen on that far sideline. Is it pass interference is the question. Eric Allen, the 12 year veteran. Pass interference, number 21 of the defense, automatic first down. Allen just grimaces. And Kansas City now on the move. All they need is a field goal to get out of here with a win. Now Skirbeck drifts the pocket and moves over, and both of them are fighting for position, Andre Risen and Eric Allen, but the call goes against Eric Allen. And they haven't gone against Eric Allen a lot today. They've been testing Charles Woodson most of the afternoon. On first down, running into the line, and Mike Cloud is driven back. He got out across the 30-yard line and gained a yard. This would be about a 45-46 yard attempt right now with 38 seconds left in the fourth. Stojanovic has made a field goal from 47 yards away and 37 yards away so far today. Kansas City has just used a timeout. They have two remaining. Line of scrimmage will be the 29. I want to remind you that 60 Minutes is coming up tonight on CBS. It might make sense to you, but it didn't to 60 Minutes that the Army ruled that a captain's death was a suicide and not a murder. That story is coming up tonight on 60 Minutes here on CBS. Kansas City Chiefs trying to snap a three-game losing streak. Losses to Indianapolis, Tampa Bay, Seattle. They are 1-4 and four on the road. They face a second and 10 from the 29. 38 seconds to play. Inside handoff. Tony Richardson trying to push the pile forward, and he does as he picked up four on the play. And trying to make it easier for Pete Stoyanovich to bang through a game-winning field goal. Man, they rely on their middle three. Dave Zott, Tim Grunhardt, and Will Shields. They played as good as any middle three offensive lineman in the NFL. The offensive coordinator, Jimmy Ray, told me, he said, nobody's playing better. If we've got to rely on our guys to run the football, we rely on those three. So what do they do? Hand the ball off to Richardson, right behind the three guys in the middle, and they push the pile. They should have been stopped for a two-yard game. They continue to push the Raider defense off the line of scrimmage. Another timeout used. This is personal for Gunther Cunningham. He worked for Al Davis, an assistant for the defense. He was demoted from defensive coordinator to defensive line coach when they brought in John Fox. Cunningham felt that Davis did it behind his back. He hasn't forgotten. Third and six. Horn, the motion man. Handoff. Donnell Bennett. He's driven back. A loss on the play as Grady Jackson was able to fire through and make the stop. They will wind the clock down. And that is a huge play by Grady Jackson. Coming low, submarining through the offensive line, nailing the running back behind the line of scrimmage. That is a big play for the defense. If you look for a big play, that could be the play of the game for the Oakland Raiders on defense. They stop the clock with three seconds left. And it is fitting. It will come down to one play. Pete Stoyanovich. In his fourth year in Kansas City, so he has gotten a taste of this rivalry. The Chiefs are five and five. The Raiders are five and five. 
Uh, and this game is everything it's been built to be, everything as it should be. Two teams, big time rival from the AFC West, a dog fight. The winner has a shot of going to the playoffs, the loser has to crawl and scratch. It's more fitting, it isn't more fitting, and how can it come down to a game like this? This is the way it's supposed to be in a rival game. 45 yard field goal attempt. Kicking it up. He's got it. Kansas City wins it. The Kansas City Chiefs continue their dominance over the Oakland Raiders. They have come into the Bay Area and they have squeezed out a W on the final play of the game. It's fitting it would come down to a field goal. It was that close. And for Pete Stoyanovich, it's a game winner. 37 to 34, that's your final score here in Oakland as the Kansas City Chiefs have knocked off John Gruden's Oakland Raiders and the Chiefs improve to six and five. Gunther Cunningham, sweet revenge for that man. So for Mark May, this is Ian Eagle saying so long from Oakland. The final score, Kansas City 37, Oakland 34. You've been watching the NFL right here.